Hello again, internet friends, and welcome back to Quests in Cthulhu. Thank you for spending part of your geek end with us. We really appreciate it. We're playing Call of Cthulhu today, and nothing, I cannot emphasize this enough, nothing will probably go wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I'm so glad to have everybody back at the table. Welcome yep. back, Thank Amy. You. Very exciting to have the Great Dane Society at full strength. You'll need it. Yes. Uh, we, today, we're going to have a giveaway. Amy was in Poland, and apparently when she was in Poland, she bought dice, because... That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> you travel exactly, internationally, yeah. you go to every game store in town. I mean, So, yes. we have a beautiful set of Q Workshop dice here that we're going to be giving away on this stream. Uh, Thomas will tell you in the chat the word you need to put in to get <laughs> these dice. It's secret. It's secret. Uh, is that the word? No, it it's just, just it's a secret. <laughs> Uh, it, Hashtag. It's secret. These dice are strong enough for a man, but uh, um, so uh, uh, we're going to be giving that away at the break. Uh, don't forget our sponsor. <coughs> Who doesn't love beer? Actually, I don't love beer, but everybody else loves beer. So, Gordon Biersch, we appreciate you and uh, the work you do to make us all make less sense. It's good <laughs> and good for you. Yeah, Actually, right. they don't have to work very hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fair point. Real. That's a fair point. Uh, uh, last but not least, I want to remind you guys, we have a survey. You can find the link on questsandchaos.com. It's all about the inspiration mechanic because, um, frankly, all the GMs are sick of the players getting so much inspiration. So we're really hoping that this survey will tilt in the direction of killing more players. Hey, Psh hey, hey! So help us out. <laughs> on behalf of Bo and Thomas, and come on, Warren, you're a GM too. You're a GM. I am, and I, and I like inspiration because it gets given to me too. No, no, you like inspiration because you're a player more than I, I, I like inspiration because, because people like seeing me in the GM seat, and so they give lots of inspiration, and then I can use it to fuck with the players. It's fun. I, uh, I, I am of the opinion that all inspiration should just go right into the boy. That's all I'm saying. That's my... Thomas, That's why Thomas, I'm not oh, Thomas, I, I, I think I'm hearing an echo. It's because the window's Shut open. the door. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that is, uh, uh, take the survey, please. Let us know what you think. We, we, listen, we listen to our community. Uh, YouTube, we listen to you as well. Thanks so much for your comments. Uh, I'm usually in there a couple days later checking out what people are saying and mm. telling you all why you're wrong. <laughs> and I'm right. Uh, it's his well actually moments. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. I'm YouTube explaining. Uh, yes. uh, so, uh, but we really appreciate the likes, the subscribes, the comments. Yeah. Keep them coming and uh, keep enjoying our trip. We're having a lot of fun and we want you to come along. Speaking of our trip, mm. oh, the Great Dane Society, my friends, they are in uh, lovely London. And, oh, Thomas just reminded me. We are 10 subscribers away from a subscriber giveaway, Ooh. and the subscriber giveaway is a Cthulhu Investigator Handbook. And let's be honest, oh. 10 subscribers is like a Hefner wrong type. <laughs> it's like a Hefner typo, so... Uh, You're not wrong. But we are, it's the Cthulhu Investigator Handbook. The Investigator Handbook is a really neat book. It is all the rules and uh, world information the investigator needs, and it doesn't include any of the uh, the game master stuff. So it's a really neat way oh, to nice. give the to give the rules and the world and the flavor and that sort of thing to the players without giving away the mythos part of it. Uh, one of the weird things about Call of Cthulhu, for those of you who haven't played it as much, is that uh, a lot of people know a whole lot about the mythos and Lovecraft's world. And so, as a GM, one of the reasons that you get things like Parrot Shark is because if I were to describe the thing the way the book describes it, somebody would be like, oh, that's a shantank, and I know exactly what to do. And, you know, and so we, um, many GMs, there's a number of really great forums for Call of Cthulhu GMs, and a lot of them discuss how to sort of get around these issues. And this is my solution, that in my, in my world, your brain is trying to rationalize this awful thing you're seeing in front of you, and it's connecting it with imagery that you understand mm -hmm. to try and... Yeah. Come to grips with the horror that's in front of you. And speaking of the horror that's in front of you, let's uh, let's get to it. So, I want to start actually in the lovely Hotel Pemberton. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're feeling much better now. Okay. You're feeling much better now. Yes, we're, we're, sipping, we're sipping. We're sipping the last yeah. of it out. Yeah. You're, you're, having, you're like, oh, you know what? 
I can I can breathe again. Everything's okay. Yeah, uh-huh. it's on a room service now. Yeah, no, <laughs> totally. It, no, the problem this. was Emma was detoxing from a day of not drinking. So <laughs> that's what it was. Uh, so yeah, you're both in. Uh, the professor now has a suite. So sweet. you're enjoying the suite and 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 some champagne. Oh yes. And there is a knock on the door. I'm not All getting right. out of well, bed. Okay. I'm still full lounge. Uh, this I'm... actually reminds me of my actual Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Where not only was room service bought to me, I didn't get out of bed to get it. So. There you go. Well, I'm, there you I'm, go. I'm, I'm going to sidle up to the door and All right. take a peek outside. All right. Uh, there is a dark-complexioned woman in a... Uh, she's wearing uh, uh, some sort of coat or cloak and a hood. And I say, could I help you? I say it like that, too, just... Excellent. Uh, uh, she like. Is this the room of Professor Lamb? Uh, <laughs> Professor Lamb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is this yeah. the room of Professor Lamb? Uh, who may I say is calling for her? Really stripping out that accent, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Someone with information to help. In her quest. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna open the door. All right. The chain. She's alone. Uh, uh, just check in. You see this woman. Okay. Uh, hmm. And she introduces herself as. I want to get the last name right. Zara Shafiq. Hmm. Uh, and she apologizes, and she says, uh, "I understand that." You were uh, given my name yesterday in the middle of some unpleasantness. Mm. Yes, I am familiar with the name. Um, I'm making sure that uh, she's hearing everything and being able to give Mm -hmm. me any any, any, uh, signals. Completely hidden in the closet. (laughs) All right, all right. Cool, cool. (laughs) Which might be a message in and of itself. (laughs) That's out of my closet, Amy. I'm going to. It's not comfortable in there. Please, please come in. Thank you. Uh, I want to first apologize and assure you that I had nothing to do with th- what the attack on your person yesterday. Those ones aren't your guys? <laughs> uh, ma'am, I am a proud Egyptian. My guys, if you will, would be Egyptian. All right. I come to you to ask your help in ending the Egyptian murders, which I'm sure you've heard of. Yes, yes, we have heard of My those. people, my people are being slaughtered. Yeah, we, we, we heard about that. What have you guys tried to do so far about it? We have cooperated with Scotland Yard. This has brought us nothing. Not surprised. All right. We have tried. I have taken steps to arm and to protect my people, along with others in my community. Um, There is, in Soho, there is a small Egyptian district, and this is where many of the murders have occurred, and we have tried to defend my people, but... It is like sand through the hand. So, do you know the group that's attacking you? I do. So you haven't been able to, to get to the root to them and root them out? If you Tell know. me, in America, eh. if a rich and powerful person is doing unfortunate things, and an immigrant tries to hold that person accountable. What happens? Nothing. Hmm. England has very stringent libel laws. And were I to publicly name this person, I would be held and probably jailed. So what uh, what can me can what can I do for you? 
You can kill Edward Gavigan. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Things that we Cut have to their overcome. bloody bodies. Yeah. 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 We'll get right on that. <laughs> he Gavigan. He leads a cult, a vicious evil cult that wishes to steal my homeland's birthrights and use the blood of my people for his unholy rites. God. All right, I bust out of the, I bust out of the closet. Thank God. Yeah. This, is a, this is a bunch of bullshit. That's our Emma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what do you mean? We heard you these hel- things. You were helping Silas and Kwane. Uh, I'm literally like using my knife and yeah. <laughs> like bacon on it. I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Both of you I'm make all, spot hidden. I'm all fired up with bacon. <laughs> There's bacon grease in me. I'm out of control. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what was 99. that again? 99. 99. Oh. I, ma- I make it. Did you make a hard success? Not a hard success. But All right. Success, you think you were about to notice something, and then when you bust out of the closet, the professor, like, up in the, her chair and causes a whole commotion, and Zara is, like, helping you up. Yeah, and she yeah, says, yeah. I, I, what? I don't know what, I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You were helping Silas and Kwane in New York. Uh, I don't know anyone in New York. Does she have a British accent? She has an Egyptian accent. Okay. Which I'm not going to. Yeah. In the interest of. No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not going to do the accent. In the interest of I want to see it. No, no, no. Just want to know. Idiot. Yeah, yeah. As, as, as he said before, anything that's been colonized, probably better not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Hey, it's like, calm, calm down, calm down. Okay. It's like, she, she ha- I, we've heard about these murders. We've heard that these thing, bad things are happening to our Egyptian friends. And, and So I, still pointing the bacon at her, I'm like, what's your role in all this? Um, <laughs> you were a spice uh, trader in New York. I'm a spice trader here in okay. London. That's oh, I she, have a, would they, mm-hmm. did, do you import to the U.S.? No, I oh. wish that would be... Wonderful for my bit. No, I am. I import from Cairo, and I sell here mainly to the Egyptian quarter. So, what's your connection to Edward Gavigan? <laughs> uh, he's killing my people. But how do you know? Uh, Unless you're in on it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm. <laughs> I'm. <enjoying> this. <laughs> um, if you do not mind, pork has a particular meaning in my culture that is not uh, positive. Yeah, so stick a fork in it. Uh, I, uh, my connection to Gavigan is that I wish vengeance for my killed, for the people he has murdered. I know that he is running a cult in how this you, town. How do you know this? I have read as I'm sure you have, I've read certain treatises, and these murders have had a certain ritualistic bent to them. Hmm. I don't know if you have uh, talked to Scotland Yard or learned anything about the cause of death, but uh, there were ritualistic sigils carved into people's foreheads. There were... Uh, weapons used that are specifically Mm -hmm. for certain rituals and the my uh, the the group my my compatriots who were able to uh, chase some of these murderers got a very good description and they were Eastern European white men if you go to the Penhu Foundation, you will find that most of Gavigan's workers are Eastern European white men. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I met with the man. And that should be enough. I have met with the man as, mo- as well. I tried to come to terms to try to understand why he was doing what he was doing and 
help and, and, and to make him stop. And he's a madman. He did give me that vibe, but uh, I just figured he was, uh, you know, an academic. But uh, um, <laughs> all right, you know, better. as as you yeah, are. Weird. <laughs> well, that's true. You're 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 in the field. I'm in the field now. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Academics. Um, so, hang on. Let's back this. Let's back this up a second. So, how do you know about the knife and the symbol? I'm these sorry, murders. The weapon and the symbol. <laughs> these murders have occurred in my neighborhood. As soon as I hear about them, I come. I give the families, uh, when there are families, solace. But to make the connection to the, um, to the cult. I have, as I said, I am a red woman. I have, I have experience with this type of literature, and I have learned a great deal about things that a more Western palette might not consider real. But we in Egypt understand the power of mythology. So do you have, what, what literature do you currently have at your disposal? I'm, I'm very fascinated with that. I tried to go to the Penn Hugh Foundation and get some, some information because we've been looking into certain things and, but he's, he waved his hands and said, there's none of those things Let me here. guess, he told you that everything was taken by Sir Aubrey Penhew. Yes, 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 and he, and, but there might be some things in Cairo, he said. Oh, there is, there, there is much and more in Cairo. Cairo is. Yeah, no, I'm excited to get there, but if you have some books here, that would help a lot. I, most of my study is done in Cairo. Mm. Uh, I, I'm not a wealthy woman, and many of these books are quite expensive. Uh, the Egyptian Museum mm -hmm. has an impressive collection. Yep, 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 sweet. And if uh, Professor Kafur, he has, uh, he has some great uh, wisdom and some great knowledge. Uh, and then she will say, Can "You make, give us an introduction, yeah, to someone at the prof at the professor. Sorry, at the museum." I could. I must admit that my uh, my knowledge, my my introduction might not have the weight mm -hmm. of uh, <coughs> a white uh, uh, academic. Huh. It is. Yeah, also got Gab again. <laughs> Sign it! <laughs> Hold him over. <laughs> um, she's going to give you... Oh, jeez, I just tore a page. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Can I see that? Gonna, <laughs> <laughs> she will give you, let's see here, the name of a mosque. Aha, here we go. Um, she will also suggest that um, in uh, uh, near Cairo is the Mosque of Ibn Tulun. I B N T U L U N. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The gods understand. Yes. T U T U what? T U L U N. Um, and she is given to understand that they have <coughs> a collection of mm -hmm. uh, writings and also artifacts. Ooh. And she has never. Um, I have never had the privilege of uh, ex of. of experiencing these artifacts, but I have uh, I visited the mosque and it is uh, it is uh, it is a, a place of great learning. Epic. All right. Um. And so again, I ask you, please, what, what, what can we do to help? What can we do to help with the, I mean, the killers? You know, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking for no. artifacts. I'm looking Kill for things. Africa. <laughs> but, no, I mean, I completely agree in the fact that, like, what evidence do you have? What evidence do we have to support this? I mean, I need to take something substantial to the Scotland Yard. I can't just be like, oh, slow, you know, slow, jump out of a closet and be like, Edward Gavigan did it with, like, you know, a butter knife. Uh, he, I, yes, I, I thought we had <laughs> established that Scotland Yard was of no use yeah. in this regard. Uh, you seemed to indicate as much, and I certainly know as much. I have experienced this firsthand. But yeah, no, but to her, to her point, we can't just go kill some guy and then just go, yeah, no, we, here he's part of a cult. We need to have something. You can't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just trying to get warm, huh? Huh? So the attack yesterday, 
by those Eastern European gentlemen. Oh, the one that, that mentioned you? Yes. Yes. If I was <laughs> a criminal mastermind, do you think that I would have my men shout out my name? And then come here? Yeah. <laughs> That's genius. That's more mastermind. That's more mastermindful than any mastermind I've ever heard of masterminding anything. That's very more entertaining. I did not follow that. <laughs> you didn't say mastermind enough. <laughs> you have to say at least One twice more. One more time. <laughs> I would have tripped it. You're a mastermind. Oh, there we go. All right. So <laughs> I think I have a crush. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, she. She. she no. No. If you were us. trying to. If you were really trying to make us. Believe you know that 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 something bad was happening. Having some guys come kick our butt and then have, coming over here and saying, "Hey, <laughs> you know, come and kick these other people's butt." How do I, a black Egyptian woman, an African woman, how do I hire? Where do I come upon the means to hire three <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Europe white men? That trade usually goes the other way. Oof. I don't know. I mean, you know, I know that there's uh, artifacts. You can sell those for uh, a price and, and get yourself some, some cash that way. Even mercenaries will not often work for someone like me, especially in this country. Got a point. But what I assure you, if you see me in my community, I will have men with me, and they will probably be armed, and they will be African. But again, I just, I implore you that we, what evidence do we have? You know, we... Everything that I have, you have. It is all circumstantial. And sounds crazy. It sounds like we need to look at it more, though, because we got info from this guy. This guy, uh, Gavgin, Gavgin, is sending us, you know, over to Cairo. What if he has somebody follow us and stuff? We can figure I, it out. It'll be okay. I will give you this. I have had Gavigan watched. One of, my, one of my people has followed him. And every two weeks or so, he travels to the country, to his, his country house, his manor, which is called Misser House, M-I-S-R. She doesn't spell it. But, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that... Why is someone writing this down? We're not going to go there. <laughs> we are. That is where the horrible rites happen. Ooh. No, we're not. We're not going okay. there. Okay. Very exciting. That is where... So, in several of the Egyptian murder cases, there has been no body. And that is because they have taken someone while still alive to miss her house. It often coincides with fate with either the full or new moon. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. <laughs> if, if this is if this is true, this right could, there. this could next week. This could we could be part of bodies what? are great evidence. That is a terrible, mm. terrible sentence. These are people, my people, my countrymen. And, and, and understand, she's an investigator. Let her investigate. I'm here for you. I. Investigation has been has been that's, pointless. That's different. The that's, time that's, now is for vengeance. I will. Do you want me to pay you? I will pay you whatever I can pay you. No, we don't need any extra money. We can talk about that later. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm artifacts. Like, we don't need any money. Well, <laughs> no, 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 I'm thinking artifacts. I'm thinking artifacts and stuff would be would be nice. Um, but uh, but we need to find we need to find the others. We need to find the others. Mm -hmm. As you say that, we In will the cut. Obituary. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. Oh boy! <laughs> to the interior of the Penyu Foundation. Do we still have inspiration from last week? Because yes. I feel like we're going to need yeah. those. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> for running four ones? is left over from last week, so that's one for everybody. Put it over here. And then the good news is Amy is not getting left out Yay. because of three kingdoms, 
has given us 500 bits, although it's technically, this is supposed to go for whoever is second on the Amy list. And I think just because of term of I service, I think me. it's you. <laughs> That's the terms of service? <laughs> because, because I've been rolling Amy's. Oh, okay. I've been yeah. rolling Amy's yeah, at this table. How is the Almost as long as you. Uh, you know, I changed to a new notebook, and I had, didn't transfer the Amy oh. scoreboard, so I'll have to transfer we'll that. We'll have to do that. I, I, think, I, I that think you're at, like, nine, memory? and I'm at four. Four? I've That's pretty quit, close. I've just quit rolling it. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah, of notebooks, uh, this won't read on camera that much, but this has to. I ha I found this in Belgium, and it has to be my Cthulhu notebook. This is um, in the town my parents live in, Ghent. There is a, a beautiful cathedral, and inside is an altarpiece that was done by um, Jan van Eyck, and it is what is it? It's called the uh, the Lamb of God, <laughs> and so they have this notebook in a cherry mint green. Uh, and there's this lamb with this beatific expression on its face bleeding into a chalice. And that was their pullout. So I, I saw this and I was like, this has to be my new Cthulhu Gent. notebook. It's so if called nothing, Cthulhu. If nothing says Ghent, that does. And yeah, it's, it's very strange. And then, and then they're like, and then we'll put it on a pattern. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, the that's so lovely. The oddities of religion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but... Uh, yeah, so I think that actually is pretty close. Nine and four, and then these guys, I think there's a I two like somewhere that's over close. here. Nine and four. It's not even close. I got close. No, no. I got close. No, close, close, last close, time. close, close to remembering yeah, what exactly close to being the, close the, to the count is. Uh, there were two Amy's last time. Yeah, I did one of them, I think. Gosh. Yep. Uh, At least one. Okay, so uh, you, first of all, so again, you punch the guy. Yes. And his jaw just liquefies. And that's our cue. And your hand run. just keeps yeah. moving. And There's no, no one, resistance. And, and everyone's able to run. Like, no one's fallen over anything. You tried to tackle. Is everyone, everyone well, able to? I so ripped over here's the problem with running, is that where the door is, let's get out the map here. Oh, yeah. come on. Where the no, door is, no, there is still, a parrot shark thing. How long? No, it, it's not instantaneous. It's not just like, like, like pops in. Well, I mean. Pretty fast. Mm -hmm. well, I, I'm pretty terrified, so I can channel that. <laughs> I'm motivated. Channel, yeah. channel, channel. There's, right. there, there's, there's a window for Maybe the I'll get stuck. So, you guys. I bet it's barred or something. You horrible. guys are in this little antechamber right here. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can see through it. Nice. This little antechamber. This is Gavigan's office. There is indeed, there are windows. Barred? Uh, I remember if it was barred? I will, a luck roll will tell me if they're barred or not. Ah, wait, why am I doing this? Because <laughs> you asked. Then yeah. they are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. I'm, I made my luck roll. Wow, all right, there you go. So the, the windows are not barred. So, I know which way to run. So, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the parrot shark thing is in this doorway here. You guys are hiding in this hallway. Yes. Here's the office. You are in this hallway. Um, let's go to initiatives. I got it. Oh, actually, first of all, let's go to sand checks. Uh oh. We oh. did that. We did that last time. You did not. I checked. Yes, we did. I, I watched the video. I remember distinctly because be, I because, be, because, I don't because, remember. because I said, "Oh, come on! I've seen this before." We have Earth? seen this before. Yeah, but I, there were no sand checks. I went back and I watched <sighs> the video. I don't like this. Oh, not a seventy-seven. Nope. Yeah. That is, no, that's a failure. I'm all right, watch. everybody. Oh, we're all running. Good. Two. <laughs> two sanity. Uh, and really, it's not so much, I mean, it is this horrible monstrosity in front of you, but the sand check is more for the fact that this thing is now taking up half this hallway. Mm -hmm. Like, this oh, man's body long. Almost, <laughs> almost instantaneously balloons into this horrible, mottled, you know, parrot. It's got the weird, like, mottled feathers of a parrot, but it's got, like, sharp bits, and there's, it's got way too many teeth. It's just, it's awful. And the smell, parrot? the smell that assaults you is. Does it start singing? Is, is terrible. <laughs> uh, With its wings. <laughs> uh, 90s. 80s. Right here. Okay. All right. Well. The biggest bloody parrot shark I've ever seen. But we have dealt with parrot sharks before. Yes. And we've actually destroyed parrot sharks before. You didn't destroy it, it pretty much flew away. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I count that as a win. We fa- we drove we it. Made we made drove it from the battlefield, we just like Strahd. Yeah, we right. vanquished him. Right. Right. So, it's we should have gotten Donald next year for that. Is taking out his shotgun, the uh, sawed-off. Shotgun. Oh, in a and small area. In a small area. He's, it's directly in front. It's a very yeah. large target. Yeah. He's at short, close range. Point I suggest range. you not fumble. And he's gonna destroy, shoot the parrot shark. All right, do it. Short range, and I have inspiration. That won't work on fumbles though. It won't be a fumble. It. Oh, that is it's a 47. It's a regular success. All right, so, so standard success. Roll your damage. I think it's 2d6. All right. Oh, no, close. It's 4d6. I've got two, so I'll just do it twice. You want to borrow some of mine? I have plenty. Uh, Tiana has I like, I like all the one. dice. <laughs> I have to pick the right dice. <laughs> These two I like. What's so. a shot off shotgun more than a bright pink? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a good variety. Here. May I, your dice were better than mine. My dice were way better than yours. <laughs> so you this dice is yours. nine damage. So All right. It's so it. there is a deafening no- kathoom. Oh. Um, Kath- what? And <laughs> um, <laughs> and feathers, or what kind of look like feathers, mm-hmm. but are weirdly liquidy and drippy and they're sticky. Uh, yeah, they're sticky. Mm-hmm. Uh, are just plastered against the it's wall, gross. along with this. <laughs> Color that is kind of gray, but kind of green, ichor, just all along the wall. Um, and you do, um, and the three of you make me, let's call it con rolls. Oh, right. no. No. <laughs> all right, that's a failure, that 83. Failed. That's a hard success. All right, Damn. so, um, <clears throat> yeah, you, <laughs> I, I see, so here's exactly what happened. Just push he, it back down. He pulls oh. out the shotgun, and you just immediately do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. You two are deafened. Oh. Uh, should be expected. Yeah. Nice. And um, that is going to mean you're going to have disadvantage on most rolls for at least five, uh, about five minutes of game time. So if I drag them, they can't <laughs> they, resist. That's right. Well. They cannot resist. Um, which which ones do we not have disadvantage on? Like we'll decide that when it happens. Uh, Pulling triggers. Uh, but Don't need to hear so for that. like basically. You can't be, especially in the fight right now, like it's you can't be communicated with. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So that was eighties, seventies. All right. Well, still just like, oh my god, I'm gonna go after it with with my knife. All right. Disadvantage. Damn. 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 Oh, damn. You're running. Up Your ears it. are ringing. My ears are ringing. This is why I use knives. Uh, I still succeeded. Even All right. Like, oh my god, I, good, I want that job. two though. That two would have been nice. Roll your damage. <sighs> All right, 1d4 plus 2, 4. Four points of damage. All right, yeah, so you get really closer than you wanted to get to this thing. Yeah, but I've done uh, this before. And you come up with a, uh, a slice, mm-hmm. uh, and you carve through this thing, and again, there's like, um... There's like a squelching noise. I can't hear it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I'll I'll stop describing noises. <laughs> yeah. To me anyway. I hear it. <laughs> um, My ears are and, ringing. And like, there's weird like. You've stabbed a few things in your life, and you know this has simultaneously more resistance but less resistance than things. <laughs> you know, as the knife kind of slides through it a little too quickly, mm-hmm. um, and uh, your knife comes out and it's coated in that gray green. Does it feel like when I stabbed the one that was in my flat? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and it lets out a squawk when it, it's like. So they are not responding to run. Uh, they have I not. Can't they hear can't, you. They can't yeah, hear you. Say, I did that I before the gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they didn't respond to it then. <laughs> oh my god. No. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like clear back a little ways to to, to to give Donald room to shoot again if he feels right. inclined. Sure. Uh, on a 60. I don't like it when people shoot into melee. That's my uh, job. I'm... You can hear. Are you, uh, have you, you haven't gone yet. So Not this haven't... is all, um, you, um, you think you hear something in the hallway. Yeah, I do. And if you, rec- <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I do think I, no, no. <laughs> Back but, up. Yeah, there's. There, there and, was someone and else. And Reg. something else now. That's Who knows? what I Probably. Yeah, you, you hear something in the hallway. Uh, that was 60s, 50s, whatever you are. Yeah, 55. All right. They're fighting it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can, I'll take a swing and then... All right, so you're going in with the brass knuckles. Well, I'm, st- I'm still Go. there. Yeah? Go, yeah. Silvano. Get it! Get it, right. Silvano. And somehow you managed to not get shot with it. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, that's, that's real good. That's good. Yeah. 
Is that a hard or an extreme? Uh, just a hard. Okay, so that's going to be uh, uh, max damage. That's so that's four damage, right? One yeah. D3 All right. So plus one you like levels. you come in like uh, Alexandra slides in lively and just slices, and as she's coming back, you're coming forward, and you're a little bit more sort of like brawling kind mm-hmm. of thing, and you come in, and you just. Go for a body blow, because that's all you... Because it's like 90% body. If I can hit something that I think is an eye to give myself room to... With a hard success, sure, I'll give you that. Um, Sweet. It's a little high up, so you're more gouging at this thing's eye than yeah, you works. are punching. So th- so the brass knuckles don't come into play, okay, so you only, you're only going to do a D4 instead of the... the D- no, it's oh, D3, D3, three, sorry. D3. D3. Yeah. All right, so you reach up... Uh, and you like gouge this thing's eye. Yeah. I think it's an eye. Yeah, you gouge. No, it's it's pretty clearly an eye. Um, uh, and yeah, you seem to get you like get a thumb in there pretty nice. well. Yes. And there's a there's a gross, wet, you know, unpleasant feeling. You just got that one. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I'm I'm getting much further. Away. I'm. Are you running? Can, can I pull on any of them? Like you can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pull me. Oh, in front. <laughs> He's and I yeah. point. All right, so he holds up two fingers and he points. Both of you, let's see, make me spot hidden rolls with the uh, well, intelligence, like <laughs> basic. We're kind of focused on I the big target yeah, right there's in front of me. There's a lot going on. That's why they're making yeah. this. Yeah. There's so with uh, disadvantage. Nope. Oh, I wish I would. Nope. Eighty-two. Is it with disadvantage? It is with disadvantage. Yeah. Nah. Still checking. There's a lot going on right now, and like. Your ears are out just going like wee, 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 wee. And, and can I make it around the door into the office? You are in the office now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're heading for that window, aren't you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw myself through that window. <laughs> I'm not opening it. No, yeah. Not only are you through the office, like as you come in, you Why just you look right at the window. I will grab a chair. There you go. Okay. Nice. Uh uh, all right, that is back to the top of the lineup. Uh that's you. All right, cut rack the shotgun and put another shot into it at close range. All right. Right, the good great. news is you're not going to hear this yeah. one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I feel like I would feel it still. All right. Mm. That is... Oh, too funny. It's regular success. Standard All right. Success. Roll your damage. Yes. It's still sh- uh, close range, so 4d6. Got a 75. While you're doing math, wow. I'm going to do some math. Yay. The Baroness. Hi. Right. The Baroness has 1,000 bits to the players Ooh. that she tolerates. Hey, oh. And 500 bits to her favorite chaos GM. It's GM, not DM, Thomas. <laughs> uh, and that uh, apparently is me. Or I'm supposed to save this for Bo. I'm not sure which. That's the... Oh, we're, we, all, of the all of the GMs on this channel are really chaotic is the thing. It's true. Yes. Uh, no, it's for me. I mean, obviously. No. Uh, so the da- and, damage roll is 15. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nice. So uh, you blow a wing off this thing. Yes. Uh, and <laughs> it it lets loose with you here in the office. Yep. You hear a kaboom. <laughs> Can't wait to break that window. <laughs> <laughs> um and Sorry. you know, not a not a full G.I. Joe moment, but you know, since the Baroness is involved, yep. uh, a, a weird thing I learned the other day, because I learn weird things, <laughs> is that there are over 500 characters in the G.I. Joe universe. What? 500? Wow. I think I know like Seven six. of them are female. So representation! <laughs> that was for you, Apollyon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, maybe a little more work to be, and even fewer of them are of color. Representation! Yeah, yeah. So you know, work to be done. Uh, yeah. The 80s. The 80s were fun. Yes, the oh, 80s. Yeah. <laughs> uh, although most of the 500 came like after the 80s. Yeah. That's. Well, uh, but, but they are making female uh, uh, Green Army men now. So I saw that. Yes. Cool. Oh. Except that you're still calling them Green Army men. <laughs> wow. So there's that. Yeah. Soldiers, I guess. Soldier. Green, green plastic green soldiers. Green plastic soldiers. Uh, Great for the environment. <laughs> <laughs> we just can't win on this. We can't. We can't. All right. <laughs> they glorify military. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm just trying to think of other ways that they're like that. That's, that's the worst right. thing ever. I had when I was a kid. I had space. I didn't have the plastic soldiers. I had these space guys that included this weird. It looked like a Cthulhu thing. It was like a. 
a a standing on two a, a bipedal turtle kind of thing with like a weird head and like dealy bopper things on top, and it had the it had claw like crab claws. Wow. Uh, uh, there were oh man, those space those space guys were awesome, and they were like they were weird colors. They were all like either kind of lavender or this grayish blue or pink. Like those were the three colors they had. Wow. My mo- my mom was the queen of like. What can I find cheap in Chinatown to, for, your, for you for Christmas? <laughs> so, you know, I didn't get Transformers. I got Transponders. Ah, you know, the, the knockoff version. Yes, the off-brand. Uh, I got the, uh, the going bots. You know, that's, <laughs> that's, I thought it was just GoBots. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the wing going. Bots. If you, we Bond didn't have bots. GoBot money. Yeah, the wing bots, yes. So, dead nice. parrot shark. Oh, no. Oh, no. Close to dead parrot shark. Wingless? Sure. <laughs> you get a flashback I mean, of my hand holding up two. <laughs> it's not flying anywhere. We didn't see you. It's not flying anywhere. Uh, um, on a 70. Uh, I'm 75. Go ahead. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another knife attack. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. Good job. Uh, Re- just a regular success. Okay. Roll damage. Did it not attack anyone? No. Mm-mm. Well, it's, it turns after mine. Uh, four. Okay. Um, and then so, slide back out. <laughs> so you slide in to stab this thing. Mm-hmm. And as you are moving in to slide it, it is turning back into a human. Once again. Okay. <sighs> and behind it, you see oh, no. Edward Gavigan. Oh, oh God. And okay. he has his hand. Oh, okay. on the. Is that upside down? No. 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 He has his hand I wish. on the guy, and his hand is glowing a blue color. Is Gavigan in his, in his office? No, he's in the hallway he's behind, behind, with he's behind the parrot office. shark. Who's he touching? The, the, the parrot, parrot shark. That's turning oh, and he's turning human. the parrot shark into a person. Oh. And here's where it gets funny. Gavigan says something. Can I read his lips? I don't know what role to give you on that. <laughs> Uh, spot hidden? Yeah, maybe. Sure, spot hidden. I like it with yeah. disadvantage. All right, let's try it. All right, let's make a shot. I like the way we do it. Too. And that is a seven D. I missed it by one. Oh, that is so frustrating. No. You do have some inspiration. Yes, you do. And I would. Like but I need to re-roll it but, all at disadvantage. Have, uh, or take yeah, this is all at disadvantage. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't, don't waste it. Don't waste it. <laughs> let's negotiate. What? What? I am not spending a point of luck. Yeah, I spend a point of luck. No. Yes. <laughs> luck yes. Listen to Thomas. He knows. I think that I should negotiate for that because because um, Alexandra can read lips because of all the years she spent with uh what's his name. Our little friend. Jackson? No, not Jackson alive. Francois? Francois! Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what? I'll take it. You can just re-roll. Yes. Re-roll the, the miss. Sure. Okay. Just as regular. Well, just regular? Not, just, yeah. Not... Just re-roll it a regular. Okay. Oh, come right. on. If, I, if I roll an Amy at this point, I'll be very That's all my fault. Oh, I can't wait. Please. <laughs> yeah, it was an Amy. Well, yes, it, it was an Amy. It's an Amy. Oh. Is it worse? Not a no, turbo that's Amy. A, that's a six. No, it's, that's a 68. Yeah, but not a 98. Well, no. No, no, it's not a turbo role. Amy, but it is yeah, an Amy. Uh, turbo Amy yeah. is the fumble. Uh, when you fumble on your inspiration. I consider that a true Amy. <laughs> <laughs> the essence. The pure, yes. you know, the pure, pure. The pure people. Uh, all right. Um, so, yeah, you get, he says, um, he says, that's quite enough, Mr. Templeton. So Interesting. And, uh, and he's, like, touching the guy. Uh, I, I'm and oh, uh, you don't need a psychology roll. He's super calm. Okay. Like Gavigan is not acting okay. like. Well, pop the shotgun open. Two more shells inside. All right, you're loading. Pop it cl- close. You're loading. All right, in the in the office. Chair smash. Yeah. All right. There is a there is a, you don't hear a window break. It breaks no problem. You can get out if you. Well, I was gonna. God, I don't know that he's in. No, wait. I could have heard, heard, heard him. Did I hear him? Make a listen roll. There's a lot going on. Come on. Cause I don't want him to see me. <laughs> I don't want to see him Just either. Hide. No. Yeah. That's okay. Free. That's a that's a oh, yes. critical. So yes, you hear clearly Edward Gavigan's super creepy calm voice. Or after I smash the window. <laughs> <laughs> you got a not three. You decide. You got. I. I'll just stop with the chair at the okay. window and. There we go. All right. So yeah, you you paused a second, and uh, right after the horrible squawk, mm-hmm. you heard. Somehow, on a frequency that just cut through everything right to you, mm, that's quite enough, Mr. Templeton. Oh, no, I'd hear that, definitely. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Uh, uh, can I can I move with the instead of smash? Can I move over to uh, towards the door, but not sure. like around the corner? Yeah, you're like sta- you've got the chair and you're like standing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, back to you. You loaded. Uh, uh, aim, so aim and prepare, but not fire yet because so, I can't hear what's going on. The guy in front of you, mm-hmm. um, he, he as he's changing, his arm is not coming back, and so how like, badly is he bleeding? Pretty badly. It should be. I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot of arteries in here. Uh, and he like has his hand over his arm, and it sounds like he might. Um, he's not scre- He, but here's the weird thing. His face is like totally calm, even though he's like grasping at this. And uh, um, yeah. All right. So you're you're loading your shotgun. What are you doing? I I'm, aiming. Yeah. Sure. I have, I, have, I have my dagger in my hand, just like settle into a ready crouch and just watch, waiting mm-hmm. to see what in the hell's going on. All right. I don't like doing things if I don't know what's going I'm on. Try to clear my ear a little. Yeah, bit. it's like, ow. Um, Gavigan is just smiling calmly, and uh, he like. Templeton is now fully uh, turned back to human, and he will look behind him, and he will say, hmm, uh, Mr. Mr. Simmons, if you don't mind, help Mr. Templeton here. And another guy will come in and will like start to take the other guy out. Mm-hmm. And Gavigan like has a little handkerchief and he's like cleaning his hand. Oh my god. Silvio, could you? Are you just staying oh, I'm by the I'm door there? To that. <laughs> So, well, you cannot whisper. Like, uh-huh. if, you would be like, Silvio! <laughs> you would be stage whispering. I mean, I, I cringe especially hard. But. <laughs> I'm trying to try to pop my ears a little bit, see if I can get my hearing back. I've been through right. this before. Uh, it's not the first time. All right, make me a con roll with no disadvantage. Success. 24 would be a hard success. Okay, yeah, your hearing is starting to, con- is starting to clear. Um, so, but... Here, um, so you like are doing the, you know, this. Oh, so like your your shotgun is no longer aimed. All right. Well, all right. Put yeah. it back. Uh, what are you doing? Um, Gavigan is just s- standing there. And I'm like, damn it! I wish I could hear better, because <laughs> I still have that the ringing in my ear. Yes. Um, I could try to clear my ears. <laughs> I'll give you a con roll. You could yell at him. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'll give. It. Nope. All right. Um, My con is really bad. Thanks, Thanks uh, Francois. Gavigan will gesture towards his office. <laughs> I know. First one through the door. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, not good. I mean, <clears throat> uh, every D and D GM. So you ready in action to attack the first <laughs> thing through the door? <laughs> Uh, no, because I'm hoping the first thing, like, my friend's running through, <laughs> right the window's you. not open. Mm. He just will gesture to his office. All right, um... <sighs> twirl, twirl, twirl the knife in my hand, but still have it in my let's, hand. Let's, uh, well, back, back into the office, back mm-hmm. from Silver. Yeah, I'm not going to take my eyes off this guy. So they're oh. moving much slower than you would like. <laughs> And, and they got see, your eyes on. I have my eyes yeah, they, on. They are, they, yeah, they are looking at only one thing as they both back through. I'm, I, I'm readying an action. <laughs> <laughs> I figure you're gone by now because I, 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 you, you're not in the room, so I figure you're gone. You get the peripheral as you come in. I'm well, like, now I do. Both of you can make spot hidden rolls. Not spot that hidden. hidden. Yeah. All right. Nope. Failed that too. This will be a surprise for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> my dice are really just biting my ass today. Uh, and yeah, you see, they are backing away, and Gavigan is now in his doorway. Yeah, it, I'm, as soon like not in because that'd be a weird angle. Right. But like he's when he's a little bit past, you just come down with a chair, mm-hmm. and that's when you both see. <laughs> oh, Silvio, like with oh, with every like, fiber of my being. With like he has he somehow in that like you know panic-induced strength has picked up like an upholstered chair I might over his head. It's like it's like some sort of Edwardian like, you know, amazing. Like, and he's just like <laughs> I love that. He's like aggro awesome. Mr. Burns right now. <laughs> So is this is this, uh, is this brawl? Ag- sure. An aggro Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. 
Oh, it's just a little under. Can I use inspiration? Yes. Or yes, luck. Can. Inspiration. I'm totally inspired. In That's no, I don't have luck. Inspiration. To... There you go. You have to arc it up. There we go. That's a that's a success. All right. So, um, you swing this chair down at him, and as it comes into about a quarter of an inch from his body, the chair just starts to incinerate. Oh. And like, Important it's almost tip. like. Why didn't you run? <laughs> it's <laughs> almost like um, a table saw or something, where it's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I used a chair, though. <laughs> yeah. You would have lost those brass knuckles. Mm -hmm. And Gavigan ignores you completely and goes and sits at his desk. <sighs> can we hear? Power move. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can hear. Close the door. Okay. So what you're saying is I still have some of the chair legs. <laughs> you, have, you have like two <laughs> chair legs. <laughs> oh, just the legs. Can you, can you uh, hear? Can I hear? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. We, we didn't mean for this to go the way it went. How did you mean it to go? Hmm. It's a good good question. Well, we didn't expect to find you controlling parrot shark things. That was a little different. We were looking for correspondence. And fortunately, things got a little, little crazy. Crazy is one word. And we'd like to leave and uh, <laughs> make things. Um, <laughs> I, I was waiting for a turn. Can I actually run um, through the window and try to jump out? This isn't my specialty. I am like, I'm just shooting people. Out, <laughs> so yeah, they're like talking to you. You're like, why are you, what are you? Yeah, I'm completely shocked that there's a discussion going on. <laughs> yes. By thing that just oh. sawed a chair out of my hands. Uh, let, let ends be ends or things be things or... Uh, you're better at this than I am, Alexandria. Not really. What are you? Just I, tell me a good point to actually dash for the window. Yeah, I'm sure. Do it. Make, um... <laughs> do it. Do it. Uh, make us. So uh, I don't have to be successful. No, no, no. <laughs> it would it'd be funnier if we just like burned it against. The, uh, I'm just trying to decide. Is it a size roll to like crush through the window? A size sure, or strength? strength? Your yeah. choice. Uh, size. You're, you're bigger big than you size, are strong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, like, yeah. Like raw would be the same. Uh, si oh yeah, size. size. I'll yeah, take yeah, size. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, do it. Oh. Nope. <laughs> All right, so so That's you better. like, but I get a good crack it. in, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're like, uh, you're like mm. blathering, like ends, right, and right. Uh, you know, you're better at this. And as you say, you're better at this. Sylvia's like, nope, and <laughs> he gets a running start and just goes, wham, right into the window. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a fumble. So that would have been great. You managed to not take any damage. Okay. Um, but like you're like, mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, you're definitely shaken. And you now notice that the windows are double pane. Oh, ow. So to say that chair. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still got bits of it. Uh, mm. Pain. I mean, I'll, I'll still give it another shot as soon as I can. I, double pain, dude. I prefer to think of this hmm, as a beginning, not an end. Uh, a beginning of right. what? A beginning of a partnership. Uh, hmm. yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's hear him out. Let's, let's hear him out. Mm, all right. I, it's, it's a very simple proposition. <laughs> Are you going to keep trying? Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to say that this on the... This is freaking terrifying. On the fifth try, okay. you will make it through. Yes. So, Are you crying? I don't um, want to be a So what I'm going to do is every, every, couple, every minute or so, I'm going to point at you, and that'll be one time. Okay. I love this. <laughs> and he's totally ignoring he's you. Be uh, what are you? Cuss. You two clearly here behind you. <laughs> and I don't sound good, by the way. <laughs> yeah, like I'm having trouble breathing. Yeah, after the, the first, panic. the first one, it's like, ah, ah. Uh. I'm coughing. It's. <laughs> <laughs> That's where inspiration is. Oh, okay. That's where it is. This is That's beautiful. Right. That's where it is. This is beautiful. All right. Um, it sounds like it might be more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> Why would you run? <laughs> yes. 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 It sounds really painful. <clears throat> the proposition is hmm, uh, elementally simple. <laughs> you do something for me, I do something for you. And what do you want from us? I want you to kill someone that I consider an impediment to my goals. I understand <laughs> that you have some experience in this field. I have The no both idea. of you. I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Hmm. I know. Let's who air him out. I know what your friend did. How? Ending the world. How do you know that? Hmm. It's my job to know things. You drink and you know things? Is that your is that your shtick? I never touch alcohol. <laughs> it clouds the judgment. Mm. So you take care of my problem and I solve your problem. What would our problem be? Me killing you. That is a problem. Who is it you want dead? One. <laughs> Why aren't you helping? Son of a bitch! <laughs> All right, extra points got the DM. <laughs> that might be the best scene. <laughs> Like, seriously, why, why, why? Oh my god. Perhaps one of you would like to open the window for your friend. I'll, I'll take care of it. Sylvia, hold on a second, boy. I'll, 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 I'll just move him aside. Just, just move him aside. Just turn the latch just 90 yeah. degrees like this. We push the window Oh, I'm pulling open. him. I'm pulling him. I'm trying to pull right. him through. Right. Uh, this is going to be an opposed. Yes. Oh, well, wait. He's trying to pull you out. Do you want to be pulled out of this? Uh, place? No way. Out. All right. So strength versus size. Right. Size. Okay. And uh, cool. That's a failure. I got eighty-four. <laughs> That's oh, a no. hard success. All right. Oh, not oh, only wow. does he pull you out. No, wait, is it my size? Is it? Am I using my? No, no. Your strength. Your strength. strength. Oh, because that would have been a critical it's success. It's a hard success. Yeah, so it's hard. he yeah. basically throws you through the window first, <laughs> right. and then he's out. <laughs> is this, no, we have, we have to get out. We're on the first floor, so it's so okay. wait. You're not. <laughs> no, we have to get out. Yeah, all right. I'm not so gonna. You're no. With that, all right. With that so thing? he throws you out the window. Right. He's gonna try and climb back in. Uh, <laughs> all right. So what's it? Me. <laughs> so you throw him out the window. Uh, Gavigan is just sort of watching all of this bemusedly. I'm. I'm, I'm kind of watching bemusedly as well. Just like I'm just. Pleading. He's looking I at you pleading. like please. <laughs> He can cut you with his mind. I, it's not the first time I've run into someone like that. Mm. Mm. You, you're free to go. Are you the Black Pharaoh? No, oh, no, no, no. Do you work for him? I serve. Hmm. Didn't it, was was that jackass the one who told you about what happened? I, I dislike pejoratives. In general, I've been in America long enough to make feel. I feel that mm, civil discourse is a lost art in this day and age. Mm. I'm just sobbing. <laughs> <laughs> you're now, you're I'm now, I'm like, like, you've climbed, like, the window's yeah. about like three feet up, I'm so just, you've like pushed I'm just yourself up. through the window, yeah. and waiting to hear what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want dead? <laughs> Mm -hmm. That is a fair question. It's hard to agree to anything if we don't know names. The Spice Merchant. In Quanti? <laughs> that, no. That's not a problem. <laughs> I'm more than happy to go back to I mean, to we American. have to go back to New York, but that's the problem. <laughs> I'm more than happy to go back to America and kill in mm -hmm. Oh, really? You're happy to go back to America? I have my ways. But, no, <laughs> not in Quanti. Some local Spice Merchant. Is he who he wants uh, dead? Zara? Yes. Mm. Seems small potatoes. Not really. Hmm. She is an impediment to me. And you have shown yourself to be a blunt instrument of some slight effectiveness. We've had better days, too. A little squeal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to, like, edge around the desk and come, and, and, and come to the window All and, right. like, swing myself out of it. All right. Because He's... Silvano is just making whimpering noise. He's <laughs> just standing. It would be awesome if you were the last one in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't he, isn't he outside? I'm outside. No, no, yeah, yeah. You're, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, he's been like standing. Gesturing. Like, the two of them are, like, at the window like this. <laughs> Both of you move. Here, come on down, Alessandria. <clears throat> like swing myself I'll, over. I'll help you, help you down. You have hmm, until the new moon. That's one week. Shouldn't be a problem. On the eighth. All right. 
if she is dead by the new moon, I will not. I will trouble you no further. If you trouble me no further. Hmm. All right, we have some things to discuss. Perhaps. Mm. I don't think you do. Uh, amongst our uh, associates. <clears throat> which way does which way does the window open? They open out. Okay, I'm gonna like grab one, one side of the window and just slam it, and then turn and walk away. All right, let's go quickly. <laughs> yeah. Right. You are not let's pursued or anything like that. Yeah. All right, we cut back <sighs> okay. to Son the Pemberton. Bitch. Son of a bitch. Yes. And we um, search that place some more too. Uh, and yeah, so Zara is. Uh, you know, she she's given you everything she can, and she's gonna take her leave unless I I am I, I wasn't gonna bring it up, but I think I need to bring up. Uh, uh, we need to know what what cult that he's running, and I'm gonna bring up the Black Pharaoh. Yeah, I was just saying I already know. Yeah, no, we know this. this. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, I want to. I want to. I'm gonna bring it up so she knows that we know that she mm. knows. I think she knows that we know that she knows. But uh, no, I'm just saying. you can both make a psychology roll. So you stop. That was on purpose. Stop that banging is... your bones on the table. Trying to get out the window still. <laughs> no, um, no. I All right, know. everything's fine. Uh, I love that phrase. He, uh, she, she'll say, "Yeah, I have heard this, this name before, and I think that is, uh, that is who he, that is the horrible thing that he worships. It is, as an Egyptian, it is a." a corruption and a fouling of everything, the history, <clears throat> the lore, the mythology, the power of my people. To me, this black pharaoh is akin to the British Museum having the, t the tomb of our dead kings. It is apostasy. So if you have bodyguards and support, why don't you just do it? A, I'm not a killer. And B... What do I look like? <laughs> you travel with people who are... Hmm. Adept. <laughs> Adept, Adept is the word you're looking for. Just because <laughs> he's a little bit weird and kind of fumbly. You... Hmm. I believe you have ready access to people who are adept at killing others. Okay, but not adept at getting away with it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I am, so you take that back. <laughs> She's um, got a point. And... You take that back. <laughs> You're not you there. <laughs> are not... You can leave London. You can do this and leave. This is everything I have. If I do this, it will end everything for me. Even, even hiring you to do this will probably end everything for me. So you said that you've been watching Gavigan and that you had him followed. Up mm -hmm. About how many people are in his cult? Mm. <sighs> Good question. He has, I have, s <laughs> not I, I have been told that, the, that there has been a a truck has gone from the Penn U Foundation to Misser House, loaded with men. Jeez. To what, like 20? That would be, 10. I think that sounds, yeah, 20. Okay. So is that the place on fire? And but mm -hmm. that truck always comes back with those people. So it could be that mm. Misser House, when there is not a ceremony mm -hmm. or a ritual, Misser House could be relatively unguarded. Hmm. Do we come and back at any point in this conversation? No. That would when, be awful. when, no. when, no. and then she awful. obviously, she, can I get directions to this location? I don't know. Where she'll, she'll, she'll give you the ad. She knows. Yeah. She'll, she knows the address. She'll okay. give you the address to Mr. House. It is a trek from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is up, kind of north, east. Okay. So the only other question I have for her is that she, she mentioned some kind of payment, and if she thinks that Ooh. The, uh, some of the artifacts are useful. less than savvy, less or, than or nice, um, is there 
some kind of artifact she'd be willing to part with. You can Maybe keep, something helpful. You can yeah. keep whatever you find with Gavigan. I'm sure he okay. has horrible, horrible things that I want no part of. Okay. Me neither. <laughs> They can all go up But you, you mentioned something about, you know, paying us, maybe, possibly. And I was just wondering if there were any artifacts in your possession or that you knew about that would qualify as such of a payment for us. So that's something, you know, scratch your back, scratch my back kind of thing. The suffering of my people. That is, that is a, a bad thing. And I and I, I feel for you. I hear a button. But at the same button. point, <laughs> yeah. But at the same point, we did say something about maybe. Uh, I'm I, fascinated and interested with artifacts. Mm. You are a spice trader, correct? Yes. Would you? I can give you all the cumin you wish. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we have plenty. Wait a minute. I have notes as to what kind of spices Nick had. Cumin <laughs> <laughs> herbs is what, what we're That's most right. interested in. Um, if one were to say, oh, I don't know, need to get out of town real quick, like, um, you'd mm. be able to potentially oh. arrange travel for us in undocumented terms and ways and means. Ooh. Mm, nice. A boat, perhaps? I believe I could do this. Okay. I believe I could do this. It, um, yes, yes. From first job, class to okay. luggage. I have hey, not. <laughs> <laughs> we get out alive. I have not attempted this with. Live humans? A lot of people. Non-Africans. Okay. Uh, mm. But at least it was a live human. It wasn't. <laughs> put, yes. it in, put it in grain sack. That's fine. But okay. th yes, this right. this I can do. All right. I I, I will. Uh, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. And your generosity I have moves me. Oof. I have one other question. Do we we were following up with Gavigan and Aubrey Penhue? Right, that was, no, 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 somebody mm -hmm. help me out here. I, mm -hmm. That was been mm -hmm. out Yeah, Aubrey Pinkyu yeah. is, is yes. dead. Yeah. 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 Um, or so we think. Yeah. Yes. Probably not. During your time tracking Gavigan, what Aubrey Penhu, his uh, travel to around the world, I'm just mm -hmm. abbreviate that and that stuff, um, are they in on it? Or are they just patches? <coughs> oh, the, oh, the Carlisle people? Yeah, the Carlisle yeah. expedition. Oh, uh. <sighs> I spoke with uh, the with Mr. Carlyle mm -hmm. uh, years ago when he was when he came to London. Mm -hmm. he, before he went to before he went to Cairo. Okay. Um, I, uh, as you noticed, I have some skill in expediting travel and items to mm -hmm. Egypt, uh, and Mr. Carlyle was very interested in my knowledge in that area and also in possibly finding local contacts uh, and I helped him out somewhat there but I did not get the sense that Gavigan Gavigan was connected to them he didn't help the Carlisle expedition okay Mr. Carlisle, Carlisle seemed to have earned honest interest <coughs> in King Solomon's mind and not I mean this is a complicated answer for me because Carlisle wished to rob my country of its birthright and ancestry. But uh, to the extent that that can be seen as a noble goal, yes, his he seemed trustworthy. I'm like, I need five seconds to find the name. What's the girlfriend's name? Oh, uh, Benet. Benet. That's it. <clears throat> that was where? She was the African woman that Carlisle was hanging around okay, with. Okay, so yeah. this is, um, <clears throat> so I just. Um, <laughs> just dropped the name. Yeah, just, no. Um, who did you hook him up with in Egypt? Uh -huh. And did you ever put him in con um, touch with a woman named Benet? No, the gold digger was already with him. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Some spicy talk. <laughs> From a spice trader. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, the woman, Benet, was a charlatan. And she, I, I believe, according to, the, according to the, the media reports afterwards, she ran off with most of the money from the expedition. 
I tried to warn him about her. I've seen many people like her in my time. Do you have any idea where she might be found? I, I don't know. Mm. Um, she, sh- her, her accent mm-hmm. seemed Kenyan. Okay. Uh, the name that I gave Mr. Carlyle mm-hmm. was uh, an antique dealer in mm-hmm. Cairo, Faraz Najjar. Um, have I heard that name before? I don't think so. Okay. Um, ladies, if you will excuse me, I... Nope, you've been very helpful. I think that one way or the other, we're going to be out of here by the new moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a psychic she, or anything. She's like, I know a few, but I might be willing to bet. Um, she's like struggling with the calendar. Is there... that? That's soon, I think. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and as you said, that's the next time he usually takes people out to... The what house? The Mister House. The Mister house. house for rituals. So, no. I, one way or another, I feel something's gonna uh, happen. She'll give you the address of her yeah. shop. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, it is Empire Spices. Yep. Uh, yeah, it is Empire Spices, and uh, and it's in, yeah, it's in Soho. Okay. And she says, you know, if you need anything. Please feel free to contact. No, and, and, and now thanks for coming over and and, uh, and and letting us know more about this. It's it is troubling. It is very troubling. Of course, I was um, I was shocked and saddened to hear uh, that my name was being used in such a manner by that man. I'm glad that I actually met you and were able to talk to you. Makes me feel better about it. It it is nice to get the measure of people face to face. Um, you can both make psychology rolls. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I can't none make us, one. Done. None of us have psychology. <laughs> nope. Nope. Thirty-eight. All right. Everything's fine. Uh, yeah, she will take her leave. Okay. My most and least favorite sentence. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Um, the rest of us use that. <laughs> Yeah, there's uh, nothing. so there's, about there's no skill set I can to figure out any okay never mind. I'm just dumb. That's about it. an hour and a half later, uh <laughs> the, these three shell shocked bedraggled, uh, exhausted. They they <laughs> but not injured. That's five shots <laughs> I'm, of whiskey. I'm bruised up pretty. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, your shoulder is uh, So I just throw out five shots of whiskey right that like just they open the door and oh. I'm just like <laughs> There we go. Oh, Sit down. Sit. It's fine. Emma. Emma, you Thank are Thank Irish whiskey. This is what I needed. Okay, it's whiskey. Apparently, we're in trouble. Whiskey. What yes. happened? We oh need to pack. <laughs> we need to get out of London. We don't need what? to pack. Ed- Edward Gavigan. <laughs> Edward Gavigan. He saw some of us. He saw all three of us. Damn. <laughs> you were peeking through the window. He knew you were there. And you tried to hit him with a chair. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. He seemed to ignore that. <laughs> Right. So starting from, starting from the beginning, okay. we broke into the Penhu Foundation. Like you mm-hmm. do. We found we found out about a house called um, Mr. House. Mr. House mm-hmm. that yep. seemed to be important to <coughs> Gavigan. It was it in is. His yes, state. it is. Well, it's very important. Yes. Fantastic. Um, oh, how does she know this? He well, can't. We have a story hurt. for you after we yeah, hear yours. Just continue. I'll Go fill ahead. the blanks. He's continue, please. No, this isn't something we knew before. Um, <laughs> <sighs> Grab a suitcase. We just we, keep packing. It's fine. You can pack huh. us early. You can pack us late. Whatever. Okay. We get to go box. Pack a snack. <laughs> <laughs> we were we we heard people coming down the stairs, and we were hiding in uh, Edward Gavigan's antechamber, mm-hmm. and they found us. A uh, shark parrot thing ensued. How many? Just one. Well, and okay. then after we pretty fought, much would have killed the damn thing. We had it. He, he took his wing. He took its wing off. It was pretty Ooh, impressive. I do want to try the wings at one time. I think I've but, still got a bit of the wing on me. <laughs> but, 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 Edward Gavigan was there, and he was standing behind the person, and he reached out and touched it, and turned it from a, sh- sh- a parrot shark thing back into a person. Okay, makes sense. What right. happened to the that wing that was right. on me when that feel. happened? Yeah, makes me feel. Do I have skin on me? <laughs> <laughs> um, you have nothing on you now. It's okay. all gone. 
Oh. oh good. What was interesting is that guard's face after he changed back, it was like he was in a trance. Mm -hmm. I don't think the guards well, necessarily are that... okay with becoming pirate sharks. No. It may isn't... be something that Gavigan is doing, some sort of magic thing that he does but to turn them into these. think about Silas and Kwane, like, were the... Um... The zombies? Zombies, that's it. Mm. Oh, there's a shot of whiskey lined up. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you're, is. Yeah. Oh, why running. you're running around like a chicken. <laughs> like a shark parrot with a wing cut off. So, but, so we have we have a story for you yeah. as well. well. Let us finish, there's yes, more. Let's continue. Yeah, oh, go ahead. More. Gavigan talks to us in his office, right calm, like nothing ever happened, mm -hmm. like we didn't oh, just shoot didn't a security just, guard. Oh, you guys didn't just, okay, all right. Like, like we were there Look. illegally breaking into his <laughs> museum, and he just he offers us a, a deal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And oddly enough, this fellow wants us to kill someone for him, like he can't do it himself. Interesting, because he's got the parrot shark situation. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's, it's very interesting. He wants us to kill Zara. So Why? I'm thinking enemy of my enemy is so my we can friend, frame us. right? Because she's an impediment to but him. Enemy of my enemy, right? So Zara is a helpful person, so we should be talking to her. Well, so we did actually talk to her today. What? Yes. Yeah, she, she stopped, stopped by. <laughs> looking for us. Okay, tell us your story. So <laughs> It sounds more interesting than ours. Mine's Come on to the, the next bacon. suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, careful with that. <laughs> if you touch no, my no, daggers, there she, will be one so, in so you. So we had a knock on the door, and it was Zara, which I was at first a little, just, that's, the guys had said, the you know, Zara sent her a yeah. guard. Yeah. So I hid, I hid in the closet. It sounds uncomfortable. Like you do. Yeah. <laughs> with my breakfast. Well. I hid in the closet with my breakfast. <laughs> well, because I couldn't leave it out. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That might we... be the name of the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> but so she 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 had a proposition for us. So she well, actually came in the guise of asking for our help to solve the Egyptian murders. Wait, wait, she wants you to kill us to kill Edward Gavigan, right? Ding, right? Ding, That's how this works. Ding, 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 ding. Damn it. That's pretty funny. I don't think we can. No, but he's got some sort of magic protection on him that is he, unbelievable. But there is some sort of like shield around him. He tried to hit him with a chair and it like split like it was a, it, like it was cut with a saw. Is this is this your bathrobe or is this the hotel's? <laughs> Pat, <just> okay, okay. <laughs> We have credit here, right? Get the suite, you know. Pack it, yeah, just get the bathroom with the suite. I like it. Pack it. I'm not entirely sure that we can kill Can't him. I didn't try that. a knife. Wow. But if it, if he was able to take out, I mean, it was. I'm just telling you, it Dude, wasn't like a little. It. it wasn't like a little wooden chair. It was like an armchair that he this hit him with. This is where I feel like some more research might help us. I this is a good right. idea. Because so the Misser House, according to um, Zara, Zara. 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 I spelled that completely wrong. <laughs> Z-A-H-R-A. Yes. Yeah, I was like Z-I-R-A, whatever. <laughs> so according to Zara, um, that is essentially where he has his rituals. Um, huh. They He does it, what, at the full? At the full moon. Yeah. At the full or the, or, the, or, the or, the or the new moon. moon. Or the new moon. Whichever. Interesting, because he, he wants us to kill her by the new moon. Which could, she could be also being problematic. So she's been following him. And so from what I understand, there's usually a truck of gentlemen, probably shark parrot bird but guys, that goes oh. to this house. They perform the rituals there. And then the truck full comes back. So they're only at the house at the new and the full moon, which means that potentially there is something at the house that we could potentially use to destroy him. Do you think? Because he's gonna, he's like the disciple of the black. I barrel. peek out of the bathroom he, when I hear she, that. Right. <laughs> yeah. She, she did confirm that. She confirmed that. That's right. He, oh no, he confirmed, he confirmed that, that as well. He mentioned that he he work he works for the black pharaoh. I asked him if he was. Is the it black. pay good? Did you ask him that? I should have asked him that question. <laughs> I mean, the pay is not dying, so. Ah. You know. But he he knew what we did, Emma. What, which part of what we did? Because like, I do a lot. The crowbar part. <laughs> what, what, no, what about the part? Of, there, there's a way to part? kill him. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. The chair didn't work. work. But if he thinks Zahara is such an impediment, then she must have something that we could use, right? Did she say that there was any way to kill him? No, she didn't. She but said she's that impediment. she's done a lot of research, but she doesn't have the kind of access to research that we would yes. necessarily yes. have. Um, or the people who would have the necessary yep. skills. All right. So here's... Uh, That's what she said. You know, and she's given us some helpful information. She's also taken it upon herself to try and arrange an expeditious flight out of here for us. Savannah, that's, that's your cue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on top of that yeah. already. We don't yeah. know, but if we leave before we do illegal we know things. know how to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, if we, especially if we have stubs for things beforehand, then it, it's, yeah. Yeah, oh. I was supposed to say, that is a great plan. You should buy some fake, plan, fake, uh, fake train tickets. Yeah. Do we know the name of his cult? 
The black, the cult of the black. Yeah. Could we research that cult to see if there's more history on them, like what they do or how they operate, or, there or isn't magic anything or something? Here. So the Royal Library or the British Museum yep. are possible mm -hmm. uh, places. I don't trust for? museums. Anymore. I can, I can tell you that <laughs> that they've been dormant for about a century, yep. or apparently. And well, when we asked her for proof, she was like, "You have." Does anybody what? here speak Arabic? Yes. No. Mm -hmm. uh, make an Arabic roll. No. <laughs> you have like a four in Arabic. Yeah. Um, I'm going to roll. <laughs> so did... Yeah, I'll tell you this. Misser sounds Arabic. Yeah. The word Misser sounds okay. Arabic. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wish we knew someone else who spoke Arabic. Not to me. <laughs> no, I, don't I, know. I think it's, I think it's British. <laughs> oh, all right. Yes. <laughs> Misser is pig Latin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> So okay. anyway, where was I going? So she, because I originally asked her for evidence, you know, because you should That's instead a good of idea. killing people, <laughs> arrest them, take them to the police, call the police and say, "Hey, I've got some guy breaking into my house. Right. Oh no, help but, me, help yeah, me!" Yeah, Emma, Scotland well, Yard. Emma, how not. well has that ever gone for us? We've never tried it. I don't she think. Said she, talked to, she said she talked to Scotland Heaven. Yard and they wouldn't, they couldn't deal with it. We've tried dealing with the police but several a, times. But a, a way to kill him, a way. That's what we need is a way. I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear that much. And I don't. If there's not a way to kill him, I don't want to. I'm going to go back to packing. Okay, go back to packing. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So you take the soaps and the shampoos too while you're at it. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying it's kind of. I'm just grabbing stuff. Anyway, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm. Yeah. Well, here's here here's my thought, and I'm just going to spitball here for yep. a second. You say that that the Mister House is where he goes to perform these rituals. So. Yes. In the logical sense that he would perform the rituals, there would be ritual stuff there, there potentially could be, and again, it was very apparently inappropriate of me to mention dead bodies there that we could point the police to as evidence oh. to arrest the man. That, well, okay, that's one thing, but also... Or zombies. Mm -hmm. Well, judging from what we have picked up, there may be something there, because, I mean, <coughs> that was a shield like something I've never seen before. It'd be nice what? to what? know... He was surrounded yes. by a magical shield it, thing that when he hit him with a chair, turned it into firewood. If we knew the name of that ritual and how it's done, perhaps there's a way to undo it? Maybe. But, or maybe we can find... Well, but Gav, I, I can go to the library and the museum and see if I can find anything else. Well, while Gavin well, gives a line that the, the Mr. House is empty. Fire. I'm, 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 I'm in mm -hmm. favor of that, mm -hmm. too. We just burn the whole thing down. Well, but the, the, the real question we is... Go if, it, else. There may be something in this house... I agree. We can multitask. ...that we can destroy that will take away the protection from him, but he mm -hmm. works directly with the Black Pharaoh, or pretty damn close, because he knew what we did with the crowbar. No one knows that except us. And him. And most of your traveling companions. <laughs> kiss, kiss. I keep hearing about this crowbar. <laughs> and I keep... Crowbars, crowbars are intensely useful. Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I've got mine. <laughs> <laughs> My lucky crowbar. Never far from hand. Just I'm just saying, eventually the word's going to get out. I'll be famous. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I ended the yeah, world. Thanks, yeah, everybody. No big deal. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> um, so that being the case, there may be something in that house like that, that we can something. that we can destroy. I'm not even. Uh, <laughs> that we can destroy back back that may take gotcha. away his protection. Mm -hmm. Why don't we look do some research into the house, into the cult, and into this fellow? Then once we have the research, we can then make a better plan. We have <laughs> we have seven days. Yep. True. We can also talk to Zahara again. You know, I know the, where she is. I think that if we do speak to her in order to keep us out of further danger, speak to her Special. undercover yes. or... Um, or oh, disguise rolls. Yes. I know, yes. by proxy, because yes. obviously if Gavigan wants her dead and sees us going after her, the, your deal's off with him. Well, well Gavigan didn't Gavigan say Gavigan kill me. Recognizes. I mean, perhaps uh, I, could, wait for that. I could walk into her store That's like brilliant. I'm casing the place, which yeah. is what I do. I was, I was actually just thinking about okay. the same, that, that we would act as we were if she were a mark. Got it. And maybe drop a note or yeah. something. We've done yeah. the whole spice visit it. before. Yes. And <laughs> How'd that, that go? And that went spectacular. Well, this time it'll go better. And I'll get some good wigs uh, this time. Good you, you are no, I'm, 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 I'm investing. The, the English are known for their wigs. Yeah, there you go. Well, <laughs> not wigs, right? too, I don't want to take it too far. because The spice must flow. You don't want to stand right, it out. So, no, uh, go to the library. I, I do think it's a good idea. I would, I would like to talk to Zara. And... See if if she knows anything about like if she knows anything about perhaps a ritual. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you she, know who we what, know who might live here, who might know about a ritual. 
Just saying. Oh, we already ran into her. Yeah, I was gonna say mm. one of us. Huh? One of us needs to go with you, so she doesn't think that you're coming after her. Do we? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, look, you guys aren't included in, in the Gavigan deal. If he sees me, or if one of his mm. people sees me mm -hmm. going in there, and I'm looking like I'm casing the place, yeah, and yeah, act as I would. Okay. Um, but you were talking about trying to talk to her, so. I'm, I'm, I sometimes talk to my marks. Okay. All right. You have to know things. Okay. In the meantime. Just casually talking about this. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it is late. It's one or two in the morning on the first. I'm going. I'm going to go get some sleep before I do anything else. So tomorrow, it sounds like is going to be a research day. That's a good idea. Is that's yeah. where I'm yeah. going. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to take that break. So. Type of These thing. dice, type a thing that Thomas will tell you to type. Uh, maybe he's going to tell me okay. what it is here. I think it's hashtag chaos, as it usually hashtag is. Hashtag chaos. So chaos, uh, chaos, chaos in rules. there for these mm. cool dice. Um, I just noticed they have, uh, on each number, they've got like little dots inside. That's neat. That's it's cool. like a, a sigil. Um, and so for these great Q Workshop dice, put in hashtag chaos. And we will be back as soon as five people can use one bathroom. That's so like my Chuck so Woolery thing. So you're not going to pee is what you're saying, Ezra? <laughs> He's I'm famous for it. Yeah. It's my one skill. And what the picture's for? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! oh.
Welcome back, everybody. We are, uh, it is now the morning of uh, February 2nd, Monday the 2nd. Mm -hmm. And I am gonna give these dice, I'm yep. just gonna hand them right through the screen. It's like, uh, anybody remember SCTV? Oh yes, yeah. Oh. 3D House of Beef. The 3D House of Pancakes. Uh -huh. Dr. Tongue's 3D. Um, beef, Ooh. too. Uh, I was so, just saying after this I should eat some pancakes, never mind. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, these That's dice are headed here, here. to yeah. Winter Nightingale. Yeah. Spelled with no eyes, weirdly. There's like no eyes. And why? Just, yeah, uh, well, sometimes why. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. All right, so uh, today, as I understand it, it's going to be a big research day. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's, uh, let's maybe Roll do. Some dice! Read some books! <laughs> Look at some wigs! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> let's I'm read some book. books! Right yeah. The three of you! Who, who, who do uh, the library thing? So do the library uh, thing? just for some organization, what are, um, what are the things that you, what are your sort of main topics of research? It sounds like Mr. House? Yep, Mr. House, Mr. like. House. And then also, I mean, really. The cult of the Black Pharaoh, Black Pharaoh. If I have Black anything. Pharaoh. And then okay. I don't know I if there's a way guy. that we could talk to Zara or you guys could talk to Zara, but I'm, I just want to know how to kill Edward Gavin. Yeah, I'm. We would like to find that out. Our yeah, by, uh, yeah. We're, I mean, we're, wigs we're are the priority. With, with wigs, <laughs> but wigs are actually wigs. That's, that's always right. Well, in England, yeah, exactly. uh, yes, wigs. W -H -I -G. Wigs have not been the priority for. Uh, I yes. will. I will point out that I have fake passports for all of us. Resources. Okay. There's I, a there's a butt to the wigs thing though. <laughs> wait wait wait. What wigs? G -U -T -T -W -W -H -I -G -S? Is that what we're talking about? What wigs? What wigs? <laughs> Emma, you 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 remember my my costume room? You you slept yeah. in there briefly. I have a lot of things in my in my resources. Okay. So we don't need to go buy wigs. I have wigs. You can just curate the I'm wigs. So yeah. gonna, you can just I, I, comb them. I'm I'm in a mode. <laughs> I told this you. Is, it's buy soothing. fake fake. I keep wanting to say plane tickets, I'm sorry. Passports? Fake, no, yeah, cane. you could buy those, that would be Why great. can't I get the real Also ones? get a cane, <laughs> also get plane tickets. Cane, plane tickets. God damn it, train tickets, train. I mean. Train tickets. Where train. are you taking the train to? Who cares? Because the train to Cairo is a tough ride. No, 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 no. no. Let's <laughs> take the Orient Express, sir. No! No! Side quest! <laughs> oh, no! Again, I don't see what happen. could possibly go wrong bad with this. Things this happen. sounds the no. Express. This sounds like a delightful change. I have heard about case. explosion. <laughs> the Orient Express is the height of luxury. It is. It's it is. Ooh, that's that's what always one of You gain right yes. sanity every day you're on you the train. Oh. Nice. Oh, I'd like. Every that. day you're off the train is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so we never leave the train. Yeah, there you go. Speaking Except of, I've regained some health. But if I am going to read books, was the follow up to on the Orient Express. Your luxury. <laughs> huh. They have a reading That's room. That's a good priority a reading... shift. They also have a bar, from what I Yes, understand. they have quite you a bar. You know what? Getting s the more I learn about the Orient Express. Find out about the Mr. House and see if we can take yes. a train there. It won't be the Orient Express, but it'll be fun. No, I mean, but I'll, I'll I do agree that we should have fake train tickets. Like, just like cheap train tickets, like we're leaving. Yeah. yeah, that would be yeah, real. Anywhere. Who cares? It's Yeah, there, I, mean, I mean, there are going to be real, actual train them. tickets. Yeah. You just yes. might not use them. Probably. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then we all need to figure out, so where where are we going so that we can tell people we're going there? <laughs> Wait, okay, which direction is the Mr. House? Mr. Yeah. House is yeah. northeast. Let's go. Let's so, go to Liverpool. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's go to the beach. <laughs> That's a very cold have... beach. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I January. Ah, like, oh, oh, lovely January. Brighton. <laughs> yeah, February on the beach. Brighton is like San Francisco when you think of the beach. It's, yeah. it's a pretty crappy beach. <laughs> um, so, you know, London is kind of down on the southeast bit of England. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mr. House is about 50 kilometers northeast, mm -hmm. so a little bit up the coast, around Harwich and, and Colchester. Mm. Uh, most of the rest of the country is northwest. So, so, so get, a get a train ticket to somewhere going northwest so that people aren't thinking we're going to the Misser House. Okay. Or like Liverpool. Liverpool's, Liverpool's right there. It's mm -hmm. here. It's lovely this time of year. <laughs> I hear it's. I've very, got a hole in me pocket. <laughs> it's very cold this time of year, but it'll do. It's pretty, all right. Uh, so, all right, so you're researching Mr. House, you're researching Cult of the Black Pharaoh. Yes. I am researching you're... wizards that cannot be killed and how to kill them. Like horrible, wow. evil sort, like it's just, I'm going wizards. full, no, like I, I need to wrap my head, like no. All right. This is bad. Um, uh, wow. Okay. 
Where are you gonna go to the 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 main like the royal library? Where are you gonna? Uh, you know, a, a where university? they house the tomes of wizards. And <laughs> so the British Museum. I mean, I'm thinking it's gonna be heavy research into like mythology and folklore. Uh, yeah. Where mm. where I mean, where do I think? Probably so. Probably like really Christian folklore. Oxford. Or but which Oxford one is closest is in... to a wig store? Is also. <laughs> they all. I have, have wigs. Well, you I can use them. So just... the royal the royal university. Um, yeah, has a library in event. London that ah. has a folklore department and mm. stuff like that, so that might be that sounds good. Uh, a, a place to check. I okay. also want to uh, go see somebody. Oh, the wizarding movie. Well. Oh. <laughs> and who might I, have it? Lady Fortuna. Uh, is that what her name is? Fortuna? Oh, um, Fortuna. Not Fortuna. Did you ever go? Uh, did anybody ever go to her flat? I'm yeah. not sure you I, ever she did. She told us where it was, yeah. though. Okay, sure. Yeah, you can go to that okay. place. I want to go with you. Okay. We'll wait and full <laughs> stop. I want to go with you. Okay. Well, let me let me visit Za Zaara then. Okay. Let's start there because if we can't get the answers discreetly that we want on how to kill this guy, that's my only other option yeah. is to go visit her and are, see if she has any other information we gonna, as far as how to get another spell to dispel his spell. Are we going to go out to Soho and take a look at any of the places where people have been? Uh, Abducted, abducted from? from? I will. That's that. That's 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 Empire in the Zara area. Empire spices are in Soho. So we yes. we we could. My th uh, my my thought on that though is that a group of five white oh, yeah, people no, 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 down no, no, the no, no, Egyptian no. area is going to look. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we'd split out up. There. <coughs> yeah, that always looks <coughs> well. Okay, I just that's just the only 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 thing. Nothing bad about. happens at the museum. <laughs> yeah. That's a safe place for you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 I hear so Oh, yes. Royal lies. Library. <laughs> Sounded very good. What was the guy's name? What was the guy's name that threw the party that Brett went to in our game? Oh, uh, I was like, what? Oh. <laughs> that's in, odd oh, English? Alistair Crowley. Alistair yeah. Crowley. Oh, yeah. I have like, <laughs> the hots for me. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. Crowley? Yeah. Is, oh is Crowley in England at about yes. this time? Yeah. I wonder yep. if we could get yeah, a hold of him. Uh, you're That's not a bad idea, but would we have known of him? At so, of course we like know of popular? him. In that case, so you go to the, 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 royal, the royal University's library. Okay. Um, and you go up to the poor person in the reading room. Uh, this is, this is Rachel's job, by the way, is people coming up to her. And, and, and I'm side. always fascinated. Like, Wait a minute, where, which... At Bancroft and at a at a fine library in the UC system. Let's yes. just say. I wonder, yeah. could I get in there and just be like, excuse me, do you have any tomes? Like, <laughs> I'm looking for a book on wizards and how to kill them. Yes. 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 Killable wizards yes. and how to and kill them. And she would point you. I think I've brought this up on here before. Straight to the but door. But they have in this library, they have these things called the Tebtuni papyri, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. are these papyri they found in Egypt, in you know, and they haven't been fully translated, and they found them inside mummified crocodiles. Well, and, oh, and Bancroft yeah. has the crocodiles. Well, and oh. I have to go see yeah. this. Oh. Well, Apparently, that, there's heard. an exhibit right now. Oh. They oh. Also field trip, money field trip. They got the translation. Yeah, because that's how I heard about aged. that. There you is go. That they were crocodile looking for additional I'm funding for the well, translation. Yeah. I mean, they're always looking for You know, the Bancroft Library. Thanks you. But yes, there's currently an exhibit. Rachel, if it's not if it's not there anymore, let me say something in the comments. But let us know the best time for a field trip. Yeah, we need to go do. I this. still haven't gotten my tour. I was gonna say, hang on, are you guys working on Monday? Quest <laughs> yeah. um, and Cthulhu yeah. have to go and yes. check this out. Uh, yeah. uh, that would but, be awesome. But um, I, I I think the exhibit doesn't like they're not actually out. They're it's like an exhibit about them. Yes. I don't want to yeah. oversell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, that, no, still, that you're gonna like sit on a mummified crocodile. Yeah, oh, okay, this is ridiculous. Uh, I think that's at the tower. Oh no, are you talking about a remote? Yes. And the fact. that you actually like pretend to be the library and we go and role play at the library. Oh my, oh my god. god. Like, oh, oh, I, oh. I would run the camera for that. Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> that Rachel's done some good camera work. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, she's she's good with a gimbal now. All right, so. Anyway, you, what? <coughs> you go. Uh, it is the worst, like, I'm researching for a book. I, and I'm like very Was explicit. Well, blue? you've come to the right place. Sir. Was the cover blue? <laughs> we happen to have quite a few books. So, uh, in the story that I'm writing, it's about an evil wizard, specifically evil, that uses spells of protection, which I assume are horrible and evil. Um, and I'm I'm looking into if there's any folklore or historical evidence of that sort of thing. 
Well. Hmm. I love librarians. They make, deal with the weirdest yeah, shit. Make like, me a library sure. use roll. Huh. That's a good That's roll. An eight. That's Boom. Wow. That's a critical success. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, why, uh, well, sir, let me. Um, you you seem like a, a learned gentleman and a, an upstanding author. Uh, <laughs> Does he have a twitch from like everything that happened yesterday? Is his like arm is like this? I, I'm like not blinking. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm so just uh, intent. Yeah. So you, uh, um, by the way, uh, when and I get to let us know if you want. I can let Amy roll these a few times for you if you want. <laughs> oh, get all the bad luck out. <laughs> or, yeah. dig, or dig or it all in. Dig it all in. Yes. Uh, I mean, it was in her suitcase for a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good point. Wow. Yeah, Maybe mix, someone else should roll these. It did for mix me. with my dirty laundry. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Just going on. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, or down. Way down. <laughs> um, I actually threw a bunch away so I could fit more games in. <laughs> I'm sure you did. You're like, underwear is cheap. That does yeah. not surprise me. <laughs> you bring the crappy stuff because you know that you know, you're going to need to make space. I had three three full suitcases, all of them t- almost exactly at twenty three. So wow, okay. So wow. you just on the way there, you just didn't do the pack a suitcase in a suitcase mm. to get. Oh it yeah, there? we did there. Okay. Yeah, we had uh, we not only did we do that, so we had two big suitcases and we packed carry ons inside. Mm-hmm. But then when we were in Germany with Rachel's friends, we swapped one of the carry ons for a full another full size suitcase. So we had three full size suitcases. And one carry on. Damn. It was really fun rolling those through the train station. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> sure. Um, Winter Nightingale would like you to roll these dice. Oh, okay. Do, do your library. You like taking my chances, library. my friend. Yeah. I too yeah. like to live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, yes, of course. Um, let me show you to our uh, um, well, our mythology and fantasy section, really. Mm. Um, and he'll take you to a small section with like all of these books that are um, pretty old looking. Uh, Ooh, it's got its own little subcase of Look at Dang. that. Wow. Fancy. They were hermetically Ooh, sealed. Fancy. Yeah, they were. <laughs> now the seal has been broken. Yep. Now, now they're going to get destroyed. Yep. <laughs> uh, and um, that was all the protection he's like, Amy I, I don't know what. Um, I, I can't recommend a specific book in this section, but I think. You would find something here. Okay. And as he says that, a um, bald gentleman. A <laughs> a voice a voice that in my head sounds a lot like Jeremy Irons mm. says, "Oh, but I might." <laughs> and there is a man, a a a a, a big old, corpulent, bald, kind of sweaty uh, man wearing a robe. Oh, I trust. <laughs> <laughs> I trust this person. I in completely. you are in a section that I am very interested in. Hmm. He's uh, he. You recognize this working with Emma. Mm-hmm. You recognize the smell of alcohol on breath, <laughs> and there the there is a lot of alcohol. Because when it's guy's... yours, you don't know. <laughs> so you need someone and, else. And to... that too, I've noticed when you notice yours, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's when it's too late. Yes. Um, yeah, this guy is. He's he's enjoyed some beverages. And it's 9.30 in the morning. I was going to say, it's really early. <laughs> I, I don't know after lunch. Time to, <laughs> it's no, I'm, five o'clock somewhere. That's <laughs> so yeah, I go into detail like, you know, so if if a dark sorcerer had a field that could <laughs> he like, mm-hmm, cut a chair yes, into <laughs> pieces as it was being swung at him. <sighs> mm. Well, not, me... not even batting an eye. <laughs> He just kept walking in the story that I'm writing. (laughs) (laughs) That is some powerful magic. Hmm. You might be interested in, and the the library guy's left at this point. I mean, no, no, I don't even. (laughs) Um, You you could perhaps be interested. Chapter seven of this book details uh, some very interesting possible um, dispelling uh, magics and artifices. Uh, it turns out the breast milk of virgins. Very powerful. Huh. Sorry, I'm out. <laughs> you got a roll for oxymoron right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've just... <laughs> uh, you might also be interested in this tome Pages 
200 to 225. They detail rituals that can be used to <clears throat> damage someone over a great distance. Chapter 7, 225. Mm -hmm. And may I invite you tonight? I'm having a party at my house. Don't go. This is crawling. Oh, oh, there might be people trying to. I might not be available. Uh, oh, you've been to my parties before. <laughs> no. Well, then you should come. Oh, you should. Trust me, you will not be available in the finest possible manner. That's quite an offer. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll. Uh, What's your appearance? I'm not in a wig right now. So. <laughs> uh, 65. All right. Ooh. You're better looking than I am, dude. He's, I know. Yeah, I know. He's, wow. he's yeah. given you a look at you. <clears throat> yeah. Because he is Aleister Crowley. <laughs> and that door swings all the way. <laughs> no, the door's just open. Yeah. 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 The door's right no swinging. <laughs> I wouldn't Oh, no swinging about that. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll, like, what's, what's where? I'll, I, I, I'm just so confused. He I'm, pulls out a card. A heavily perfumed card that has his. It says Alistair Crowley, Master Magician. And I bookmark chapter seven. Actually, so sorry, don't... he would not say magician. It says Master Wizard. Ah. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the party begins at 10 p.m. It's late. The pre party. Has already started. Oh yeah, I, I caught that. Hmm. I have to. I have to read these now. Of course. Thank you. It was so nice meeting you, Mister. Oh, uh, Mister uh, Costa, uh, Sil Costa, Silvano Costa. Silvano, oh, oh, continental. I do so love Italian food. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You're having much fun with this. Nice. I do sincerely hope that I see you. And please bring friends. Oh, good. Or better yet, bring enemies. <laughs> Could do, would you be able if if uh oh if another wizard showed up and could? Are you a wizard, no, Mr. Costa? No, no, no. But the the uh, this is the, uh. Never mind. I look forward to hearing this story. Uh, no, never mind, never mind. Well, very well. I hope that I will see you tonight. And perhaps tomorrow. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Thank you. And he'll like... Ripped off? Yeah, he literally out. like... Yeah. Pumped <laughs> away. <laughs> Whoa. No sign oh, of footsteps, just hover. <laughs> I he, love this. He, uh, uh, you know, he's, he sort of flounces off in robes. And mm -hmm. he, like, he never turns around. He backs away watching you the whole way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you, um, you can read these books, mm -hmm. and um, it's going to take most of the day to read. They're in English, which is I'm a, a benefit. Well spent. Uh, so you're gonna from so the first one details uh, dispelling mm -hmm. uh, things that are good for dispelling, and it, it turns out that he was highlighting the mo more salacious parts of it, but actually milk in general mm -hmm. is uh, a very good <laughs> a very good dispelling item. <laughs> yep. So like evaporator Ooh, to condense would be even idea. more powerful. Uh, that does not, the book does not go into, uh, I'm just, I, I'm pretty sure the book pr uh, uh, it predates evaporator or condensed milk, so. Uh, can I retcon a holy water dispenser? <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn I asked for one at one point in time. Sure, just sure, yeah, no, that, that totally okay. fills in your, <clears throat> with, you know. Uh, you got one on like a trip to, a trip to Rome once. Yep. Uh, they just gave you one. <laughs> They're like, <I'd>... sure. <laughs> Weirdo. Yep. Vatican Q is like, yep. it's also a watch. <laughs> <laughs> it also drives your car. Um, I'm assuming there's like rituals or stuff involved. So the rituals are in this. The first book is talking about like not so much rituals as like uh, things that have a dispelling effect. Mm -hmm. So 
uh, milk tends to have a very strong dispelling effect, especially uh, fresh animals' milk, like uh, not not oh, treated. Condensed would not. Okay. Um, I I get. Uh, the blood of whoever's doing something is also a very strong mm. uh, dispelling. Well, if we could get that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, cart horse, and, so. um, and then there's a number of herbs that are listed, uh -huh. sort of depending mm -hmm. on, like, if it's a curse, these herbs, if it's a, um, you know, there's not there's nothing that's like, if you want to pierce an invulnerable shield, here's the herbs to use. It's just general. Yeah. But like, what does cilantro These types say? of magic. <laughs> <laughs> cilantro is, uh, is, good for, uh, uh, is good for becoming invisible. Cool. Uh, there, it, it, it does seem like uh, mistletoe has some kind of piercing capability. Okay. Um, although it does bring people close. Okay. They and they that's it, why the droids use going it, grocery shopping it tonight. It could it it could all it's the book also hypothesizes that hy hypothesizes. <laughs> it's a word now. The it's a word. Yeah. Um, vernacular. The book the book also suggests that that could just be a bastardization of the Balder myth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm um, throwing it at the kitchen sink at this guy. So. <laughs> I need milk. I need mistletoe, <laughs> yeah. and I need some of his blood. Uh, Fresh mistletoe. And then the best. second one, yes, there are rituals. Um, these rituals tend to involve protective circles. So, like, if you make a circle and and someone enters it, um, charms that are on them will be dispelled or mm. will be uh, made ineffectual. Uh, most of these are made with uh, lime. Uh, uh, L Y M E, yeah. not not the fruit, making like a chalk. I'll use both to be safe. <laughs> yeah, and then we're having margaritas later. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they oh, make a lime margarita <laughs> would not be. It's very dry. Yeah, that would not be convenient. Do they have anything on like etching those into talismans and rubbing those with lime to? Do I so, think anything? oh, make me, make me. I'm gonna make every. Make me an occult roll. Mm. Uh, could be worse. Yes. Ooh. All right. Make sure to check it off. Yep. Yeah, you nice. find a section in a book that gives you a. Uh, it, so this feels like this is. Uh, it feels like this is sort of the text that has been sent through Google Translate to Japanese, back to English, to Norwegian to English. So this is like the five times removed. This is not like, here's the actual ritual, but it yeah. describes making a protective device called an elder sign. Mm. Oh, I have to make one of these. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, again, and again, this description is, you know, super vague and kind of not but you, you yeah, think it can I'm, get I'm you. I'm taking notes and then yeah. writing in all the things like could be this, could yeah. try this. Sure. So yeah, that is that is your. That's and a I good can job. run this all by Crowley tonight. It's true. It's true. Oh my. Uh, What's your Sam? <laughs> <laughs> it's after a night with Crowley. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I'm just saying, are you playing true to your Sam right now? It's, I'm, it's I'm two sure. points lower every session. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like clockwork. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not playing to my Sam because I'm at 32. Well, so the trick with I'm playing totally to Sam, I'm, yeah, I am yeah, desperate yeah. to find something. Five and 40. Like, anything. Low Sam is totally relative to you. Mm. So like, your character might have like a 20 san, but they feel fully, mm. you know. They know the truth. Yeah, but when you they bust out of a closet with bacon in your hand, yelling well, some insanity. Right, so. You know, that's when, fine for so me. So like when you have a 20 san, you know, you're normal until you get tweaked. And then it's a lot, you're a lot faster to just be like, nope. Just <laughs> jump, yeah. Gotcha. That sort of thing. Uh, okay, so so yeah, that is most of your day is doing this research mm -hmm. and uh, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, what are you researching? Um, I was actually going to research uh, more about the Black Pharaoh. Okay, and where are you? Are you going to the British Museum? Or I was going, going to go to the British Museum because okay. I figured that they would have some some good stuff. Sure. Uh, make me a library use roll. Hmm. Come on, library use. Yes, I made it. All right. Uh, go ahead and check that off. Yeesh. Did you make a hard success? No. Okay. Uh, so you will get... Um, <sighs> Uh, you find uh, this is an Egyptian cult that uh, 
purports to worship, purported, it's all in the past tense, mm -hmm. uh, purported to worship a lost, a figure lost to antiquity in Egypt's past. Uh, a, a dynastic pharaoh who was erased from mm -hmm. uh, okay. all of the books. Um, and I knew that one. Uh, and let's see, what else will you get with that? Let's give you... Uh, you also find that... Um, <coughs> make an occult roll. No, don't do it. It's a... It's a trap. It's yeah. a trap. I did it though, so I can't. No. All right. So Ugh. you there's you find <coughs> some <coughs> you find some allusions to uh, the idea that the black pharaoh is one. The cult of the black pharaoh is sort of one aspect of a a multi. Um, faceted, multifaceted, Fast. maybe, or just of a, of different organizations that are kind of, you know, have different takes on the same thing, and and it, and the book seems to suggest there could be some factionality mm. in there. Is there Faction infighting? Faction. Can we exploit that? The people's, <laughs> that's what I was. The people's Judean, the people's Judean front. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, yeah, if there's if there's something about that, that and, would be awesome. And uh, the other thing that you'll get with that is that um, it is believed that the cult, uh, that, the, you know, the cult died out in the early 1800s, and there hasn't been proof of his, its existence since. Uh, and I will give you, because it's ridiculously obvious, the symbol of the cult is... <laughs> is it the asterisk inside the parentheses? Yeah, it's that one. It is, is not its tongue. It is an upside down. Ah, um, it's upside down. Oh, it's the other one. one. It's the other okay. one. Okay. Oh, is it on here? Yeah. yeah. It's on the other side of that James one. Green. There we go. It's that one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You have no idea what the other ones are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, know I mean, we know what the asterisk in the, per in the parentheses yeah. is. Yeah. Well, yeah, all right, yeah. Because <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. All right. Uh, so do I, I do, okay, I can equate that with, uh, you know, like the demon worship where I see the cross has been turned upside down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, that makes Why sense. Possibly. Yep. Is it upside down onk? Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah. onk is a symbol of life. Life. Right. So, yeah. So I, I, it's the same kind of thing. So that's that's something that I would... Uh, oh, and the um, the book also says that the uh, the membership of the cult is exclusively Egyptian. The members are only allowed to be Egyptian. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Is oh, that just one part of the facet, or is it just that's just blanket. well, that's a different book. So the factional one was a different book. You uh. didn't make that role, so that one yeah, was yeah, like yeah. Um, segmented. But in the book that was talking about the Call of Black Pharaoh, the one that's sort of uh, being very officious yeah. and um, the, the the straighter one, I guess. Gotcha, say, gotcha, gotcha. In honor of Crowley. Uh, anything else you wanted to research there? Um. And then, you know, if I could look anything, if there's anything about the Mr. House there, because that sounded like a, a, a thing. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and give you, because, you know, as you say it aloud, uh, in, Misr is Egypt in Arabic. Ah. Uh, and uh, make me a library use roll. Another one, okay. Yes. All right. Um, so you find a few records of um, the a manor called Misser House mm -hmm. that is in a an area called Walton on the Naze. N a z e. And the Naze is uh, a uh, is a a river or a, like a, a canal basically. Okay. Um, and. You you find uh, yeah in the library you find a book called Green's Estates of England mm -hmm. from you know about 1870 mm -hmm. and it mentions a mansion named Longview okay. situated on the Nays in Essex. Mm -hmm. The passage states it was built in the 16th century during the reign of Queen Elizabeth the First. 
and features a secret room which hid Catholic priests during Elizabeth's religious purges. Hmm. Okay. And that's what you're going to get. Are you? You guys are going to Zaraz, right? right. Yeah. Are you researching anything? Um, We're not good at the library <coughs> stuff. We'll leave it to the ones who are. Part of me wants to go see Lady Fortuna. Oh, right. You were going to do that. I yep. would like it if you... I could go with you. So I could wait, and I could go get the plans for the Misser House. Okay, so you'll find that plans for the Misser House would be at a county level. Yeah. So you'd yeah. need to go to Essex, basically. Oh, okay. Which uh, is, you know, a right. several-hour train trip. Mm, okay. But you could do that in a day. Go it's up. about... Uh, mm -hmm. Precious little time, and you need to be here. It's for about... A... From, uh, from London, it's about a... Uh, about a four-hour train ride. We could. I'm not going to do that because I would wait for all of us to go. Okay. And then we would do the research before we went. That's fair. In. Um, I mean, if you want to go see her by yourself and not and not waste a day, you certainly can. Um. You could also, uh, you when you're looking for the records, um, you will get a little bit about. Um, they tell you that the previous owner, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, when did he pass over here? Uh, the previous owner was uh, Neville Lloyd Price. And the building uh, transferred over <coughs> about 13 years ago. Okay. And did it say who the transfer deed is to? Edward Gavigan. Okay. Um, then if I do have more time... And Gavigan bought it. He, okay. he bought it from uh, yeah. Neville Lloyd Price. Then if I do have additional time, I would go see the red-headed dude at the... I would go research at the... Um, at the scoop? Yeah. I was like... Mickey Mahoney is yes, happy to exactly. see you. Exactly. Yeah. What do you... what? <coughs> he said red-headed dude, and Mickey Mahoney yeah, was the only one I could think of. I was like the red-headed dude. I'm like, I feel like I've been not in this book for a while. <sighs> it's lovely to see you again, lass. It's How can I help you? you? Um, we're looking into the Egyptian murders. <sighs> mm -hmm. That's a great story. Mm -hmm. So who is your lead investigator on that? I was, well, Jackson. But, I mean, besides Jackson, was he sharing all of his information with you, or...? Um, yes, yes, okay. and then I, I mean, I punched his stories up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where, um, did you guys find anything, what were your similarities? I mean, let's just cut to the chase here. What, <laughs> who do you think did it? And then I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Emma, I've missed you. Yeah. Let's see, who does he you think? You know, what, was, what were his theories? The um, was there some similarities with all, what was the one common thread with all of the murders? Beaten and then stabbed through the mm -hmm. heart. Well, uh, yeah, Have so. Have we found any bodies? Well, there are num yeah, there were a number of bodies that uh, uh, were taken in by Scotland Yard. Mm -hmm. uh, Inspector Barrington would probably have more information in terms of, uh, in, ter in terms of the victims and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. Um, Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Do you feel Scott Leonard was doing a good job with the investigation? Well, I mean, Barrington is, uh, you know, he's a he's a little too uh, a little too straight and narrow for my liking, but he's a good cop. Mm -hmm. I think he's trying. Yeah. Um. The other, he'll give you the following stuff in terms of uh, most, uh, 19 murders, mm -hmm. uh, 17 of the dead were Egyptians. Okay. Yep. Uh, and, uh, mm, that's what I need to ask, and, uh, we actually, it, I still, we know this, too. yeah, we, and, I, and I know that I know this, so. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he'll also, he'll say that, uh, you know, they were all uh, beaten around the head. Yep. And, uh, and uh, then stabbed with the, through the heart with one pierce. Mm -hmm. And so did the, uh, the inspector say what the cause of death was? Were they, when they were stabbed in the heart, were they already dead or? No, it was the, it was the, it was the yeah, stabbing. I mean, well, I mean, 
there were, none of it was good for them. I don't know. <laughs> was there anything unusual um, about the bodies when they were found? Oh, I, I wouldn't know that. Okay. I, I mean, I'm sure that if there were, you know, I guess you're trying to suggest maybe there were some markings or something like that. If that Perhaps. was true, Scotland Yard would know. Mm -hmm. Uh, they're not releasing any photos. Okay. And, you know, I think the bodies have been in pretty bad shape because they're not, you know, when we get there, by the time the press gets there, everything's been covered. Mm -hmm. mm, what Never about... the cover off? Yep. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, who do you think did it? I mean, do you have an idea? Do you think it was somebody who was Egyptian or do you think it's somebody who hates Egyptian? I mean... Well, I'll tell you mm -hmm. that Jackson thought it was a cult. He thought it was a, a cult of the blue pharaoh, something. Interesting. He thought it was a cult, mm -hmm. and um, he was he was doing some digging around Soho, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, he visited uh, he visited a club, the uh, the Blue Pyramid Club. Yeah, that's the one, the Blue <laughs> Pyramid Club. Okay. <coughs> I do write things down occasionally. <laughs> and uh, what what what's the nature of this club? Well, it's a club, you know, you can well, have a drink. I'm sorry, I'm, oh, I, I understand. Got it, I understand. I'm from, you have to pardon me, I'm from the New World. I don't understand the concept of men's clubs and things of that nature. <laughs> no, it's not a men's club. It's, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I think it's mainly Egypt, uh, an Egypt, Egyptian club, but uh, it's a dinner club. Uh, get a drink, have mm -hmm. some dinner, maybe yeah. have a show. Mm -hmm. And do you... Um, I've never been. Well, neither do I. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it would be something that would be locally for the people who lived in that neighborhood, not necessarily Probably, for Probably, yeah. Who, you know, for a visitor to come, it would stick out. Possibly, yeah. Um, Although, who doesn't enjoy a good uh, belly dancing show? You know, that I'm sure they get they get some people for that. Yeah, the tips, I'm sure, are amazing. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I think all the parts are pretty great. Tim and Emma. <laughs> Go Devin Mahoney. <laughs> yeah. I was like, he's not going to bite? Um, ooh. No, nope, I'm not going to do it. Never mind. Do what? I was going to ask him out to go out with me tonight and go to the Blue Pharaoh Club. Do but it. I'm going to go to Crowley's party. Yes, Crowley's party. <laughs> we have to go to Crowley's party. God, I'm so torn. Mahoney I'm convinced, might go to that, that, too. I'm yeah. convinced that he's going to... Uh, well, you're not there. Nope, know. I'm not there. <laughs> but but I'm, I'm going to give a pitch. I'm going to throw it out there. So, uh, yeah, maybe we should go check it out one night. What's your appearance? Ah, uh, 70. Oh, wow. I'd like that very much. Exactly. You're, uh, I mean, I didn't say that I mean, out loud. It's exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, you're one of those. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, I mean, you're a lovely young lady, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'd, I'd, very, I'd be very happy to make sure that you were, were safely escorted to the Blue Pyramid Club. That'd be fantastic. Oh, I will. Uh, yep. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll send a letter when I find a Well, that's lovely. Evening. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. I shall count on it. Okay, get out of there. All right, and are you now going to try and go to find to to Bell's uh, flat? Mm, I don't know. I, I mean, mean, I mean, it's up to you. If you want to go by yourself, that seems always the worst idea. We, yeah. we know what she can do. Yeah, I know. Split the party. <laughs> you know what? We're already split, man. Yeah. I'm just going to go to church. All right, I like I'm it. See what other kind sure. of trinkets and nonsense. You know what's fun? Go to a Catholic church yeah. in England. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very austere. It's a, it's it's a little smaller than yeah. you're used to. <laughs> Not as grandiose. No, no, no pictures, no paintings, no, no nothing. No, it's pretty. Uh, it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a very different mm -hmm. experience. But so this is where I pick up any supplies I might need. Sure. So like if you had Here comes that holy my water holy sprinkler. water sprinkler, this is where I pick one up. A little <laughs> incense. Oh, we, there you go. We, we don't. We have one we're not using, so <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> uh, you can have all the sensors you want. There it is. There so if go. I hit somebody with that, is that brawl? I <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there, it, it's 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 probably silver. So you know, mm. it might uh, real silver. Yeah, you okay. got a nice one. The Vatican gave it to you. Come on. Oh, okay. I thought of okay. Now, All right. Nice silver one. Yeah, the vampires. I mean, but it. silver is, you know. And werewolves. You yes. really wish there were, you know, some steel under the silver. Yeah. But, mm. uh, all right. So that's that's okay. what you're doing. All right. So you two are going to Empire Spider. <coughs> yep. Yes. So 
This is the Call of Cthulhu equivalent of pulling out the battle map. <laughs> uh oh. No, it's not. Okay. Right. No, I need to get some water. Pin Hue Foundation. Okay. Uh, we got the. Pass I need a mug. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I got <laughs> Here we go. Just drink All right. a pitcher. This is why I always have a hashtag <laughs> mug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, uh, Empire Spices is a two story walk up in Soho. Um, it is on uh, Warder Street, and uh, it is, uh, it's, it, you know, it looks like store on the bottom, house on top, uh, pretty standard. The store, you guys are, this is not the first time you've cased anything. The store is about a third of the first story. Mm-hmm. There is a back door on an alley um, and there are two back windows on the second floor as well. All right, let's look at the whole building first before we go inside. Mm-hmm. That's what we would do. Yeah. yeah so, so we're, we're going to circle around and. All like. right. Mm-hmm. The first floor um, is there are no only windows in the storefront. There are no other windows. Uh, the second floor only has windows on the front and back. It's not a row house, so there's not. There's actually a little. Um, gated access way that goes to the backyard uh, on the side of the building. So, like, that is, and then here's the backyard, there's a back door, here's the front, there's the store. I'm delighted, this is the first time I've seen this map. <laughs> We're in new territory. Uh, so yeah, you- said about first time breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, you, you guys case the outside pretty well. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of you make spot hidden rolls. All right. Oh boy. Uh, yes. This not failed. I made it. Uh, regular success? Regular. Everything's fine. All right. Damn it. The one time I actually make something. <laughs> you still get a check. I already have a check right. on it. Yeah. OK. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give you this. You feel like. Um, you feel like there are there's very inconspicuous security. Okay. Um, like you feel like there are people watching. Watching us. Yeah. Okay. Donald, there's no, there's a few people watching us. That was to be expected. Mm-hmm. Especially All here. Right. Well, let's not do anything crazy. I'll just go to the front door and. Let's not do look. anything crazy. <laughs> That's actually the name of the entire show. <laughs> Is it? Donald, darling, you met me. All right. Please don't do anything crazy. That's that. That's the name of the real show. show. I'll try. It's a subtitle. Let's let's, let's go have a chat with. All right. That's Zara. All right. So yeah, you walk in, and uh, Zara is uh, at the. It's it's a much it's much larger than the uh, uh, than the other spice shop you've experienced. Juju house. Um, mm-hmm. And Zara is she's essentially behind this counter. Mm-hmm. She's grinding something in a, a mortar. Um, there are unlike so the Juju house was not a spice shop. It just mm-hmm. it was a shop that happened to have spices. This is a spice shop. So do we like, like get overwhelmed? With yes, the smell? the smell in here is amazing. Mm. Uh, I just like and stop right inside the door and just. There are aromatic teas. There are all these different spices. Teas. Uh, it is, uh, it is a uh, uh, an assault in the best possible way on your nose. <laughs> all right. So after I've taken a pause to just inhale everything, just go. Oh, that smells wonderful. Um, I'm gonna walk up, walk up to the counter. Okay, both uh, of you make spot hidden rolls. I'm, I'm not gonna go to the counter just yet. Okay, I'll, you, I'll wander around the store a little bit, like I'm looking at things. Then you have disadvantage on this roll. Okay. Is this spot hidden? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I got a hard success. Hard <laughs> success. All right. I failed. Seventy-one. Um, you you catch her like she is surprised. She rec- She's surprised to see you. Hmm. And, but she and recognizes me. Does she recognize Donald? She, or is it? Well, I mean, it's probably, you can't tell if it's both of you or what, but she reacts. Mm-hmm. And then she, like, controls that reaction. But not before you catch it. Okay. Uh, can I help you? I'll, I'll wander slowly over. Yeah, yeah. Here. Uh, yes. Hi. I 
wanting to have them to have a look at, at your spices. What are you grinding up, if I may ask? She looks around. I'm, 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 I, I want to make sure there's no one like listening, so I'm being as inconspicuous. There's no, you guys are the only people in the store. That's, okay. And it's clear she was looking around to see that you were the only people in the store. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and she'll just say, uh, well, uh, this is saffron. I hear that's very hard to come across. It's, it's wonderful. Mm. It's it one of my beautiful. favorites. It looks beautiful. Mm. Have you come here to accept my offer? I've come here to talk to you about your offer. I see. Is there somewhere a little more private that we can talk? <sighs> Very well. Uh, and she'll go and she'll pull the curtain down on the door mm -hmm. and she'll flip the, lot, the latch uh, and she will take you back here into her kitchen mm -hmm. and she'll, um, she'll pour you each a cup of tea. She'll make tea and she'll pour you each a cup. Um, Does it smell like any tea that I'm familiar with? Uh, it's... Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It smells like it, it smells like a really fragrant, fragrant uh, spiced Fuegrant? tea. Fragrant. Fragrant. Wedge. Love. Love. It smells like a very, very fragrant spiced tea. Let that sit for a bit while we just while we talk. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like holding it in my hands because it's right. February in London. It's yes. Cold. Yes. <laughs> right. So. I understand that you have designs on Edward Gavigan. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've learned the American way of being fairly blunt. Well, why don't we uh, just put our cards on the table? I will, I, I, I would argue you're not being blunt enough. I want you to kill Edward Gavigan. Let me, Gavigan wants us to kill you. <laughs> now, between the two. You talked to Gavigan? Yes. Not intentionally. You survived talking to Gavigan? It was yes. an interesting evening. Gavigan uh, s appears to us to be a very difficult person to dispatch. He has some sort of magical ritual that protects him. How did you survive talking to Gavigan? Because he wanted us to kill you, and so he let us go. He gave us one week to do so. Until the new moon. We have one week to dispatch him before he dispatches us. Uh, you're both, yeah, both of you would both notice this. Make spot hidden rolls. Sure. I still fail. Ah, 79. Nope. I'm seven over. I just want to remind you, you have inspiration. I'd like to use it. Also, okay. you could push this roll. Ooh. Nope, I'm going to use inspiration spot. first. Oh. <laughs> Push really look. Push I, I remember pushing a roll and losing my voice. <laughs> yes. Things went poorly. Oh, I went to the could... hospital for five years. Seven. Oh, oh zero. That okay. is a critical success, my All right. friend. Oh, she is reaching under the table. And I, and I, I pull out a dagger. No, no, wait, wait. no, 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 no. In my house, you draw a weapon. Alexandria, let's put it back. In my house. Yeah. Go, leave. Yeah. I have nothing to say to you. Do Zara. You, do you want our help or what? You talked to Gavigan, and you tell me you want to kill me. Yes. Go, leave my house. I have Hold. nothing to say to people that draw knives on me. Hold on, for Zara. the love of God. We, we want to dispatch him. We need your help to dispatch this shield he has. How do we get through it? How do we undo his magic? Our Why should I trust you? If you help us do this, we'll dispatch him for you. We'll be doing this for you. He controls some certain creatures that we have dealt with before, and I have no trust for him. I have no desire to work with him. I have no desire to kill you. Less than no desire, for God's sake. And yet you draw yes, a blade. Be because you were reaching under the table. I don't trust people who do that. I haven't drawn any weapons here. Listen, you want him dead. We want him dead. We're, there's an alliance here we can make. Help us. We'll take care of him for you. But tell us how to do it. He happens to think that you're some sort of very large impediment to whatever it is he's doing. 
which means you're powerful. You have something that he can't just deal with my himself. My power is mundane. My power is organizing my community and arming my community. That's I, apparently powerful enough that I he think considers you a serious impediment. There's something more here. If that was all it was, he could dispatch you himself. Why would he need to hire us to do it? Or not hire, threaten. He's threatened us to do it. Either we do it or he kills us. So we want to Why take Why did you say him. hire? He said he threatened us. It was a deal he made. Either he kills us or we take care of you and give us one week to do so. But if he's dead before that... We have, we have one week to solve this problem. All of us want this problem solved. I trust Gavigan about as far as I can throw him. We don't, yeah, we don't I trust can't. him. He may try to kill us regardless. In fact, he probably will. So we want to take care of him and get out of this country. And your compatriots agree with you on this? Your compatriots allowed you to come here and draw a weapon on me? I think you're over-exaggerating the whole knife thing. This, the, she plays with the knife she, all the time. Does she remember the bacon? <laughs> 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 She's like, wait, that seems far for the course. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Look, and I, and, and, and I put it away. I'm sorry. Her hands stay under the table. I'm sorry. I... I'm very twitchy after last night. We nearly died in the Penhu Foundation, and... I still don't know why you didn't. I'm very curious about that as well. He thinks that we can be useful to him, and I would really prefer to not be useful to someone like him. Agreed. The I'm, manor. I'm the sorry. manor is the key. What do you mean by that? I mean his house. His house is where he does his rituals. When he's doing his rituals, he's vulnerable. But I imagine when he does the rituals, he's going to have the whole group assembled there together. But he will not have any of his power. Hmm. What do you mean? You've seen his power. Is all of his power then focused on the ritual when he's... Yes. Mm. He... That ritual... One of my men was following him. One of my men witnessed that ritual. That man is now... His mind is shattered. We've seen some things that would shatter minds, I understand that. But what did he tell you? He said that the sky tore open oh. and that a pyramid appeared in the sky. What did the pyramid look like, did he say? Uh, uh, no, I'm assuming it, a pyramid. Do we know if Gavigan uses some sort of books or, or tomes or whatnot for these, these rituals? If he does, they're at Misser House. And any items would also be there too, the ritual items, mm -hmm. right. Do you know what sort of ritual it is? I, I don't, I don't know these things. Mm. I know that, as I said, when he, when he is doing those, uh, so we have tried to kill Gavigan. How? What have, I, what have you done that's failed so we don't repeat the same mistakes? Uh, rifles from very far away. Well, that leaves me out of it. But. And anything up close, it leaves me But uh, my men noticed, and this man, before his mind shattered, the plan was to fire on him to, to try and kill him during the ritual. Mm. Uh, because he had noticed that that shield was gone when Gavigan started the ritual. That might be your bag. Right. Unfortunately, the ritual is on the full moon. Yes. Uh, the new moon. The new moon. It's, That's it's a week six, from today. Six, well, six days now. And there's nothing that you know of that we can do here before that. I, I mean, I, I don't, I have not found any way to, um, you have probably surmised that many of these so-called Egyptian murders are vengeance, are Gavigan trying to suppress my attempts to kill him. Is that why they're ritualistic style killings? To tell you Yes, that. but also he has taken many of my people and ripped their, 
done horrible, unspeak. I can only imagine what he does to them when he takes them to that place. Do you know, did your man tell you where the place was where the ritual takes place? Where exactly in the building? Mm. It, 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 was, it must have been outdoors because he, did, he never entered the building. He was trying to take a shot from outside. That from, makes sense. Okay. Um, he was found wandering uh, in the woods two is, days later. Is there any way that we could talk to him? Sometimes, the, sometimes ravings tell us more than you think. It, I can arrange that. I would appreciate Thank it. Thank you. I have, I have one other request. Is there any way that you personally could leave the country for perhaps eight, nine days? Then we can't obviously go about whatever he wants us to do. If you're not here, you'll be safe. I, I'm a, I don't have, <laughs> this is my life. This is my business. Perhaps I don't have the money to. A, a boat for a week, perhaps. You'll be safe, and we can't possibly cause if you any harm. If they understood the term privilege in the 1920s, this would come. I can't afford yeah. to go somewhere for a week and not have my shop run. We, we could afford that. We could buy her a ticket. Mm -hmm. Talk to the others. What if we could get you the money to secure your safety for just one week? Would uh, you be willing? I can always go to Cairo, certainly. That, that, that's an that excellent may, idea. That may well be the option. I did have one more question, if I may. Of course. Um, oh, that was an excellent Columbo. Uh, it's just, uh, just one more thing, <laughs> there, ma if you don't mind. Those are lovely shoes. Uh. The Egyptian murders, uh, the ones that uh, Inspector Barrington is chasing down, the ones that they know of are 17 Egyptians and two uh, British people. Do you know who the British people were and why they would have been killed that way? Uh, um, they were my first attempt to hire someone to kill Gavigan. Ah. <laughs> Makes sense. It uh, didn't go well. No. Those murders could be us. And we need to be very careful. Of course. We'll be uh, in touch perhaps by correspondence. We won't come here again personally. Mm. Mm, all right. And again, I'm sorry. It was an instinct, nothing more. And I do think that if, if you see us again, it won't be us. Do you know what I mean? No. It might be a trick that he plays. But I'm running that. <laughs> If you see yes. us, it's not us. <laughs> right. it won't if you see us again, it won't be us. <laughs> yes, we... Well, if you see something that looks like us, you know what I'm saying? We personally should not come down here again. We if I not. see members of your group, we... it will not be you two. That's correct. Unless you see us when we go and talk to your friend. Because we do need to do that. We do. Um, she'll give you his ad the address. Mm. He's, he's, yeah. he's with his family. Mm. Um, it is, it's actually quite close by. Um, because, you know, there's not, this is a neighborhood, uh, and it's a tiny little flat. So you, you can go there. Uh, well, we would like if you could first notify the family of our visit before we arrive. She writes a note in Arabic and hands it to you. All right, thank you. Do we want to go there now? Yeah, well, might as well. We're here. I truly appreciate your help, and I'm sorry again. We apologize for any uh, misunderstanding. Well, um, thank you for the service that you are going to provide my people. It is, you will change lives. I don't like seeing the little guy kicked down. We are the littlest. All right, let's, let's exit. Let's go so forward. you go to, uh, it is the Faisal family. Faisal, what's um, his name? Oh, is it? Well, then it's um, the. F well, w w w what's his name? Oh, yeah. the guy. guy's name is um, Abdul. Ab. A B D E L. Abdul. Abdul Faisal. And uh, you know the note. As soon as the note comes, uh, the 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 mother. This is like a you know she's in her seventies probably. If we have another Shipley situation, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, she barely speaks English, mm. um, but she just she says welcome, 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 uh, and then she reads the note and she beckons you and brings you into a room where um, a a battered shell of a man <sighs> is tied to a bed. Oh goodness! And he uh, he's kind of just he just lies there, but every fifteen twenty seconds. 
every muscle in his body tenses, and he pulls against the ropes. Is there a chair in the room? Sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to pull up a chair and just sit and just sit next to the bed and just watch. And okay. Wait. Do either of you speak Arabic? I'll stand yeah. back. And... Okay. This is the moment when I want the the the, the Penhu Foundation guy. No. So <laughs> he is he is raving in Arabic. Yeah. He'll say he'll he'll every once in a while he will say he'll just babble something. Does he say the same things like over and over again? Yeah. Uh, is there any way that we can get the mother to write down what he's saying so we can get it translated? Sure, yeah. She'll, she'll, she's very sad about mm-hmm. writing this down, but she'll write it down in Arabic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and she'll give you, you know, a little bit of it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, uh, the whole time she's like, confu- she's like confused, so she's mm-hmm. not sure what she's writing. She's kind of like, it's, it's, it's nonsense, kind sure. of. Sure. But it may be nonsense that's useful. So mm-hmm. I'm just going to sit and listen and watch okay. for a couple of hours. All right, it is not riveting television. Nope, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's not, not like I've had not like I've never had boring stakeouts before. It is it is a there the, the pattern remains of just I don't think we're gonna do much. Perhaps we should come back with someone who can interpret. Well, if we can get this what what, what he's saying, what she wrote down, interpreted. That. Let's let's leave and thank them. Let's yeah, let's let's head out. All right. Okay, um, the mother like prepares you has a meal prepared. Oh, good. And like serves you like uh, um, hummus tabbouleh, a bunch of just this um, these these meatballs, kofta. Oh, wow. um, she uh, she she makes you a full oh, meal, yes. and she's uh, and there's mint tea. <laughs> so we'll, we'll we'll take her hospitality and thank you very much. If we come back again, we can get bring a gift or something to Absolutely. her. Absolutely. All right, uh, all right. So that's that's sort of the day for for most people. So you all come back together at the Pemberton. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah might as well. I've got really... the sweets still. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we really haven't gotten to go to the back of a hotel. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you guys come back to the Pemberton. So before I did that, I just wanted to pick up like a little gift. Sure. Um, you you pick up like a little. Like a rock or a crystal. Oh. Sure. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You find get, that get no the, problem. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Labradorite. <laughs> good for anxiety. I'm like, I don't know what that is, but okay. <laughs> yeah, you're just like a rock. Yeah, you know? you're like, you're this just... is pretty. Whatever, put it in. Um, sure, yeah, you find you find something, and you go to that address. Yep. And uh, so Alexander's you're going? with me. No, okay. I'm waiting for them to come back. All right. Ah, this so, is, so, so this so, will be in the evening. Yeah, so this is the evening. Okay. All right, All right so you two are going to head out. Yep. All right. Let's All right. And, and oh, before this, we leave, though, I'm, I'm going to give her the, the, the paper with Arabic on it. Yeah. Sure, make and, me an Arabic roll. And, and, and give her the information of yep. well, what we learned about it. Oh, yeah. All right. So I made yeah. it uh, and hard. I, no problem. All right. So, I, sorry, go ahead. So the Arabic is uh, daggers in the sky. Okay. Uh, the black pharaoh. Mm. Uh, and uh, the third thing he says is uh, um, uh, the 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 gate opens. Mm. <coughs> okay. Daggers in the sky. So before I go, when I return from um, picking up a gift, I'd sent a letter and basically requesting an appointment this evening. Okay. Lady Fortuna. There was no response to the okay, letter. which is fine. Yeah. Uh, did you sign the letter? Mm-mm. No. No. Nope. So just... Yep. <laughs> yep. I mean, I don't know... Generic be, person number... <laughs> kind of. I mean, I feel it would be inappropriate to put money with it. With? But with, not entirely. With what we remember of Bell's? Yeah. No, it really. would not. Yeah. <laughs> Money's good. Um, send, a, send a fiver. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll send as much as, I'll send what I would consider a lot of money. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> it's all weird money anyway. Yeah, exactly. It's all colored. Uh, not. I was like, I'll send a blue one. <laughs> uh, and and so this note just says, I'm a person that would like to Yes, to I'm see seeking you. your advice um, to and discuss important matters outside the realm of what would you? What would, what would the be mundane? like a British way? Yeah, outside, yeah, outside the realm of mundane, and All right. like need need advice. Okay, but not and again, no sign or anything. Mm-mm. Okay, nope. sure. I will come to you tonight. <laughs> okay, that's a little creepy. I don't want to stalk her. 
Uh, yeah, there's no response to the letter. Okay. Uh, Didn't expect it. So you're going to go over there this evening? Of course. Okay. All right, let's do this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. You you're like, still? is there a yeah. full moon? Is oh, somebody yeah. following us? I need uh, I need Amy's die to see what... Uh, okay. Uh, so speaking of which, is there somebody who's following us? You can both make spot hidden rolls. Mm. I'm like, what's my, what's my spot hidden? It's like 78. Uh, um, I got two. I see everything. Oh, wow. wow. Damn. Uh, These are, no. I'm not giving these dice. I'm sorry, Wynton. <laughs> sorry, Wynton. Yeah, they're yeah. now. You know nice. what? I can give have you some these. Have some blue ones. Uh, yeah, I was like, have the elder dice that have cool little elder signs on it. <laughs> <laughs> but only until she's rolled all the good rolls yeah. out Yeah, that's right. And then I'll send that's them right. to you. Uh, uh, it's a reverse Amy. Yeah, uh, all right, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you. there is no one following. Cool. You are certain Cool. that no one is following you. Well, um, let's see if we can find bells. And I and, and, and I've and I've told her yeah. that I made I, I made the glue. Actually, even better with an O2, someone is following you. Ooh. And what do they look like? It's Lady Jezebel. Interesting. <laughs> I remember this. Okay. All right. And is she dressed? Is she just dressed as usual? Yeah. Although okay. she's wearing like a dark cloak. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I act like i everything's cool. <clears throat> And go to her place of work or whatever. Okay. Where she visits, where she takes clients. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I would have told you about her reacting to the the, mm -hmm. the breakfast before black magic mm -hmm. comment. Uh, so she is sort of following at a distance mm -hmm. and watching you, and uh, you get there and there's no answer at her door. Okay. Really. Shocking. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take the gift that I had bought for her, mm -hmm. put it like wrap it in a little piece of paper, shove it in her little door thing, and then on our way there, did we see a place where we could like hang out or wait? With an O2, sure. Okay, you know what I mean? Just go to a coffee shop. Like a cafe sure. or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so you want to you want a place where you can see her go in. Yeah. Sure, no problem. Exactly. Uh, and yeah, sure enough, she will come up and she will, um, she appears to have lost track of you after that, and so she goes into her flat. Okay. And do I see like the lights come on? Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. something. Okay, I'll be like, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Except I don't need to whisper it because nobody. <laughs> yeah, but we do. Somebody anyway. in the tea house yeah. is like, do anyway, what? <laughs> what? We're going. Sugar? <laughs> Did you ask for sugar? Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, you go and. Ring the bell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, sh yeah, Lady Jezebel answers the door. Here she okay. is, four foot ten dynamite. Yeah. Okay. Um, did she look like she's actually expecting us? No. Uh, in fact, she looks really surprised to okay. see the two of you. Oh, good evening. I'm sorry. I I'd sent um I'd sent a letter requesting a, a reading this evening. You didn't sign it, Emma. I just assumed you'd know it was from us. <laughs> No, it By was so well written. General. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I tried really hard. I really, really tried she, hard. She, she put a lot of effort. The word yeah. sober? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The word, it had the word mundane in it. Well, somebody help me with that. Okay, let's be real. Can, can we come in yeah. or are you going to leave us on the street? Actually, I could use a drink. Of course, of course. Else. Awesome. Okay. Um, she, she has some pungent tea brewing. Mm. Okay. I'll take Seriously? <laughs> Uh, so what else do you have? You may remember that Lady Jezebel never drank. Mm -hmm. You don't even have guest alcohol? <laughs> guest alcohol? <laughs> Everybody has guest alcohol. Uh, I don't. Uh, okay. But this tea will open your minds to the spirit realm. I look at it and sniff it suspiciously. Yeah. It smells terrible. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put the tea down and just give her a huge hug and be like, I don't need to be open to the spirit realm. The spirit realm is like chasing me the fuck around. <laughs> what I need. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> what I need, sister. And I like, from the hug, pull her by the shoulders back and be like, what I really need is some protection from this extremely bad wizard who is literally untouchable. He, he will not stop. He is unstoppable and we cannot get him. And he will not leave us alone. Do you have a lock of his hair? <laughs> we couldn't get close enough to, to uh, he, when, when, when a friend of ours tried to hit him with a very large chair, he cut it. Like some sort of aura around him He's like destroyed a it. living knife. Living, <laughs> living table saw. <laughs> I got problems, and this uh, wizard is one hundred percent of them, ninety-nine of them. 
I'm just um, mixing up metaphors all as you do. Now. Awesome. Uh, she will. Um, she'll hold out her arms. Mm -hmm. There are just scars up and down her arms, and she'll go. You know what my magic is. I know, and I give her my arms and say, "I we are in such dire straits that I'm. Will this help?" Blood magic always helps. Ah, but it's far too late for breakfast. Ooh, it's. I was like, <laughs> ooh. Speaking of which, bacon <laughs> eggs, anyone? <laughs> um. Call out for. Uh. I I don't know how to teach. What? <coughs> What you do is so innate that you don't know how you do it. But even an amulet, uh, something, I mean, what do I, what, what happens if I get a lock of his hair? Well, then we're in business. Okay. Here's what you do. If you get a lock of his hair, uh -huh. and I put it in a cup, and then I bleed into the cup, mm -hmm. and then I wish ill on him, and I drink the cup, and bad things happen to him. That sounds about right. Yeah, but I can't do that. Is there anything else of his that that might have an effect on him if, say, we were able to get into his house and get something of his? <clears throat> well, I mean, if you had some of his semen. Whoa! <laughs> He's not my type. Um. I, I mean, I work with blood. You know, I need bodily fluids or something that has a connection, a, a direct physical connection. Oh, if you had a finger, <laughs> if I then. Could, if I could get close could, enough to cut a finger yeah. off. Well, look, here, okay. What about something for us, protection for us? Do you remember the last time we had protection? No, I don't remember. It went great. No, it didn't. We were able to be tracked that way. <laughs> Oh, I remember that very differently. We dropped them in the ocean. <laughs> what? You don't remember that? No. Yeah. Okay. Did I? There were there were these blood amulets that she made that were that wizards could find that like specifically Inquani was able to track us that way. Yeah. Oh, I just remember sprinkling holy. Like I remember like flicking milk all over the place. That's all I remember. <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> I was back in the cheesecake days. And it's days. coming back, yeah. I promise. <laughs> it's a callback. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, she will, um, so she will, she, I can make you more of those amulets. And if no one's looking for her this time, mm -hmm. it's risky. But. Um, I also, I mean, from what you describe, like, I don't know his magic, but if I were doing magic mm -hmm. and I were trying to keep something that powerful going all yeah. the time, it would be impossible. Mm. That has to, it has to be a short term thing. Mm -hmm. hmm. How short term? How long could you keep up something like that? I mean, I don't have that much blood. How? Um, and I don't have anything like that. But I mean, unless uh, it's either an item that gives him this power, mm -hmm. in which case that item has to be if we can get it empowered off. somehow, mm -hmm. uh, or it's his own, some ability of his own. And I mean, I don't think he could do that for that long. Do you think that he's possessed by the Black Pharaoh? He's, he, did, he said that I, I asked, you know I mean, me, I was, yeah. very, I was very direct and asked if he was the Black Pharaoh mm -hmm. and he laughed. He but said that he hey, serves the Black Pharaoh. Do you guys want to go to a party? Of course we do. Who's Is there alcohol there? <laughs> There's everything there. <coughs> what kind of a party, Bells? Well, it's really kind of an orgy. Oh, not really, but <laughs> uh, possibly. So, <laughs> the most powerful wizard I know 
is throwing a party. Well, he always throws a party. Okay. But I'm going. Cool. You know what? Do you think he'd help us? I mean... Is he the sort of person who, who, who would be interested by something very weird? Oh, yes. Well, then, we should go talk to him. Yeah, for sure. So are you guys going to go back first, or are you going to go straight to the party? No, we should go back, because I, first of all, want my sprinkler holy water. (laughs) You're bringing... Of course I am. Of course I am. I'm just to load it with any magical nonsense. All right. Uh, All right, so Bells is a little disappointed. Okay, that what? And that you're going somewhere before the party. Well, is this appropriate? Well, I don't even know what I'm wearing. Is this appropriate? She goes, hold on, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay. And she comes back a little later, and she's on- she's just got the cloak, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is my shocked face. <laughs> I'm going... It, it, okay, so you're saying I'm overdressed? I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Not for long. Okay. Oh, boy. I could always just get a jar and put the... put the... put the... whatever, blood of whatever in it. Let's just go. Let's Do you know what's almost as good as blood magic? Hmm. Sex magic. I've called it. <laughs> I'm sure it hurts a bit less, too. Not if you do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Set it up and knock it down. Yeah. Thank you, Ezra. <laughs> well, we can't just leave the others behind. Well, we could. <gasps> there are others? We can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's where we were going. To mm-hmm. He's, uh, with our friends. what's his name? The tall, dumb guy. Is he there? Which one? Oh, Jackson. Wait, what? Jackson Elias? No, the police guy. Kind of no. looked like Jackson Elias, <laughs> but, exactly. but white. <laughs> uh, no. Dave! No, no we Dave's haven't. not with us. We, oh. we haven't picked him up in this version. What, what does that mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, we are not traveling with Dave McGillicuddy. I was going to say, if we, yeah, I was like, if you take us to the party, I'll tell you all the kinds of crazy shit that happened. <laughs> get, get like three Below drinks in her. Your mind, lady. Blow your mind. Uh, blow your mind. Have you ever done cocaine? No. Yes. What is that? <laughs> Come to this party. Okay. Um, all right. So she's going to go. Are you guys scene. going? Yes, I've done cocaine. <laughs> are you going back to them? or? Yeah, we should. All right. Yeah, let's look she'll, 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 so you will not see her at the party. Like, like, okay. Uh, she has disappeared into Whatever she's a doing. writhing mass of mm-hmm. who knows what. Okay. So you guys are all back together. Yeah, it's about oh 11 o'clock. Right. Ah, drinking time. Well, Emma, we, I, yes. I met a wizard. Shh. <laughs> and he invited us to a party. I also know a wi- not a, quite a wizard. Okay. She invited <laughs> us to a party. It, I it, think it's time to get our party clothes on. But first, look at, and I, I take out yeah. all my notes on protection, <laughs> and I spread out all the circles that I've... Okay. Meticulously I'm looking for like my best clothes, like my <laughs> yeah. party clothes. And he's Does like, blah, blah, blah. Did that say no, milk? I mean, yeah, there's milk. there's all sorts of notes on milk, hmm. uh, blood. Well, yeah, herbs. I know about milk. <laughs> this again. And cilantro. I know all about it. Yeah, for invisibility. Um, Is that but, how it's but, we need to bring but, protection? But it's the <laughs> line. I'm, I'm more interested. Yes. I, I think the the protective uh, rituals, circles, uh, sigils. I, I think that's the way to go. So how do you make those? Well, so the the stuff I found was kind of vague, um, except for the circles. The circles aren't, aren't mm-hmm. too hard. I have no idea if they work. Okay, but you have you, to be on a circle that you... circle of? Like, what's the sign? Is it made out of that? Oh, I've got, I, I drew yeah. all the stuff lime, out. Lime, lime, and yeah, you've lime. made it. There's several that have, like, different markings and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, the elder sign is actually a stone, a small stone that has yeah, something carved in it. Yeah, that's different, yeah. With a, with a funny star in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, but then I, I also tell them, show them about the, the symbol that the I... The upside down, down. Yeah. So. yeah. What's that? Uh, yeah, that's the uh, the cult symbol. So we should be looking on the lookout for that thing. So, though, too, so right we don't there. want we don't no, no, want. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. You want to turn that the other, other way. way around. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. All right. So basically, uh, I'm just like Zara? that's nice. Yeah. I'm like changing clothes. <laughs> Emma's, well, Emma's just thinking about the. Well, the and, party. and 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 Ooh. and we're, we're going to tell them about Zara and what we found out. Tell, mm-hmm. Yeah, what she told us. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I'm assuming this is a ride out of town. So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, no. Crowley has a mansion. Yeah, in in, the, in, in I mean, city. yeah. It's a it, so it's going to oh, be a short. Oh, it's in the city. Yeah, it's not in the city. House he's, out in the lake. Okay. He's got a. No, he doesn't. He doesn't believe in parties far away. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you have a an almost wizard, you. Well, <coughs> oh, she's 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 a psychic. She does 
just do you think organic we could, magic, if you will. Do you think will. we could run these things by? I mean, there's, there's, I'm you could in you've a met lot her. Of, Silvano, do you remember the lady who did the, the reading in my room? The horrible gypsy. <laughs> yeah, the fortune <laughs> teller. She's not a The I thing like, came a, out. She's not it a was, gypsy. B. <laughs> she's not horrible. Dr well, we it was a horrible the reading. Thing, that's that's yeah, sure. the reading was. Yes. Well, it's because you're a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's oh. because somebody said, what wants to talk to us? Nope. Don't do Don't that to the spirit that world. That would be me. The door is open. <laughs> the door needs to be shut. Shut the door. We know her. Shut and the front door. She's she's legit. She's the real deal. Mm -hmm. Is she going to help us? Well, in her way. Is she going to help us, though? We're looking at these. In her way. I mean, yeah, it's not. Love any notes, any feedback, <laughs> Look, open so to ideas. What she explained to us is that <laughs> she would be the one that would have to do it because none of us are wizards or magicians. That's and great, so she'll do it then. Well, well but she would need to have something of uh, yes. Gavigan's, so like you would a actually, lock of his hair. Or, yeah, uh, or his blood or his semen, which I, is totally up to you to get. <laughs> so if you wanted to go get his semen, yeah, I, I read I'm 100 percent not going to participate. I read oh, if, if we could get his blood, um, but we bl that's, yeah. Semen works. What about? Yeah, that's <laughs> not willing to stoop to. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, sorry, his YouTube. Hair. <laughs> his hair should this be This is fun, at the right? end of the show. It's fine. <laughs> the, the man has to get a haircut. He has to shave. And he has a house which he does these things at in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go to the sink and it's the like drain Superman, or whatnot. You can find the hair. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't cut himself in this one. You go into his, his bathroom. Rubs or hits the shield instance. and just bursts. Go into the drain. I don't. I don't know if that would work. I don't know if it has to be clipped <sighs> from him. With I you, don't ready to party. No, I don't know this shit. I mean, if we get the hair from his bathtub. <laughs> I'm actually a bit oblivious. I think this party is going to be horrible. This party is going to be amazing because you know what I'm going to do. I'm also packing all of my money. And, well, not all of them. That money. seems like a great idea. Because <laughs> I'm going to find somebody who, I'm going to find another wizard to kill a wizard. Oh, Best we're going to. Best plan ever. Wizard mercenaries. Yeah, we're going to have a wizard dot in the middle of London. That's oh. going to be fun. How, How many people at an one? Alistair Crowley party will tell you they're a wizard? All of them. Coked out of their gourd. <laughs> This one has a card. <laughs> Sorry, That's sure how legend. you know. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's just go to this party and see what happens. All right. So this is a this is a beautiful <laughs> mansion in the richest part of. I brought all my England. notes. Well, there you go. I'm, I'm putting on like my best. Yeah. Uh, me too. You are um, at the door. There is a uh, a doorman who. Uh, doesn't care if he doesn't You're ask about invitations or, not, yeah. or anything like oh, that. Good. Uh, um, but each of you are presented with a mask. It's just a plain black mask. Oh, this is good. I like this. Sweet. I do too. Oh, I hope he's not wearing one of these because we're not going to be able to tell. <laughs> no, he's pretty. I will no. bet you. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. No. He won't wear a mask either. <laughs> Big man flouncing around. Uh, it's pretty easy to spot. Yeah. And so uh, uh, once you've put on the masks, the doorman ushers you in, and you are in a, a large foyer, and about a third of the foyer is taken up by Alistair Crowley, <laughs> who is... Uh, uh, who is greeting everyone who comes in personally. Uh, he immediately envelops you in a massive, very weird-smelling hug. <laughs> uh, and... Oh, we hardly know each other. <laughs> and, and he says, I am so glad you came. Yeah, I, I, brought, I brought some notes. And I you brought friends! Good evening. Uh, yes. Who of you has the highest appearance? Seven. Are we wearing masks? This one. I've got a 70. Anybody else? Nah, 40. 40. 45? No, 40. You're wow. 40. We're all 40s. Yeah. I feel wow. like I've rolled What's players before. What's yours? 65. Uh, 65 so. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're hot. Yeah. 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 We're like, Italian. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Is that right. how? Motherfucking Jersey Shore here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I GTL. I do not want to. Uh, Tim Tan Laundry. I do not want to offend any of our New Jersey uh, viewers. So uh, no, no offense. No offense. No offense. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, he he will um, he'll fawn attention on each of you. Uh, he wants to know your name. He wants to know. Uh, um, he want weirdly he asks your favorite color. So, what, my dear professor, is your favorite color? Purple. And your mask is purple. Sweet. And you, you delicious hunk of man. She's already took purple. <laughs> 
find out. We should all just let want- me <laughs> guess. Let me guess your favorite color. And he goes, whoosh. And you can all see his mask now looks like Aleister Crowley's face. It's like his uh, the eyes are Aleister Crowley. That's just terrible. That's creepy. Also, good trick. It's a purple <laughs> Yeah, it's purple. It's exactly <laughs> <Yes>. purple. <laughs> it's the best shade of purple. And you. Amazing. You. I am a fan of the opera. And I recall your work. Yeah, it's been a fair time since I've been there, but yes. Yes, I hear yes. that uh, you're now a baritone. <laughs> More of a jazz singer these days. I detest jazz. Yes, well. An insipid medium. Unfortunately, it's about all my voice is good for these days. Nothing modern is good. Hmm. Fair. Except this. And like, <laughs> as he says that, a waiter's walking by with a plate of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm assuming is still le- is legal. Ish, yeah. Yeah. Ish. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, not, not in America at the time. No. England, okay. however. England. Uh, probably not. But yeah. I mean, uh, and York he says this. 20s, right? While not technically modern, the 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 production the the refinement of it is a modern practice, and it might be the one modern thing that I tolerate. You know, I still take a horse carriage everywhere. Do you? Hmm. You don't see those very often anymore. It's a shame. Well, I am nothing if not about affectation. Excuse me. It's all about the aesthetic. <laughs> <coughs> Indeed. Hmm. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Dark. Is it blue. white? No, it's dark. It blue. should be white. Why would it? Sure. He takes a handful of cocaine <laughs> and goes like that. I, I, I see this coming, and I'm trying to close my eyes. It's like, mm. Your mask is white. So it is. And oh you, God. Irishman. Yes. What is your favorite color? Red. Uh-oh. What of angry men. Mm-hmm. <laughs> your, ma- he, yeah. your mask is red. Very boring. Let me guess. Your favorite color is the gold of the sun at 5.37 p.m. Golden time. Reflected on the Tower of St. Basil's. Close. I was going to say revenge, but I'll go with that one as well. (laughs) Oh, revenge. Revenge is a lovely color. Mm -hmm. A much deeper red than his. Very much so. And, like, yours is now, like, it looks like dripping blood, almost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it suits you. Thank you, sir. I'm so glad you're here. Please, my mansion is yours. Make of it what you will. Thank you for your kind hospitality. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm going to go shopping. <laughs> Like shopping trip. I know. I'm like, did I bring a bag? <laughs> I can make a flower. I can yeah. make a thing. Yeah. I'm about uh, to make the stupidest decision. Does he have a library? Yes. yes. Oh, I have a library. Oh, this one. I was oh, hoping oh, yeah. to. Uh, I've got my handful of notes. Oh, I may have to go with you. Let me. <laughs> oh, let me see those. Oh. Oh, smart and with an ass like that. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. He said asterisk that. <laughs> oh. These oh. are quite good. Thank you. I've not seen someone so able to transcribe thaumatogy before. It's amazing what you can do in your life depends upon it. <laughs> for a book. And what would you do for a book? Research. No, that's what you do with a book. Incredibly uncomfortable. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Come, let me try and lead you astray. And he will, like, take your arm and he will flounce off towards the library. Good luck, Sarah. Bye. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. (laughs) Uh, So, yeah, you are. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. 
You can go. I mean, you can follow. Your, your... No, not that jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, so there are sections of this party that are almost normal. Mm-hmm. And then there are the other parts of the party that are... Less than. Yeah, very far from normal. There are, you know, pretty much whatever you're into you can find here. Um, Is everybody wearing a mask? Yes. Okay, so it would be extremely difficult. And they're to see. all different colors. Okay. I'm gonna take mine off and like tap off the excess cocaine. It's like, <laughs> so now your mask is gray. <laughs> the whole mask is actually now cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, it, uh, you know, nope. uh, <laughs> put a little bit in my gums. <laughs> that way you don't get addicted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I things. So yeah, you can you can find. I mean, there are. I mean. He has a library, but there are also, like, his study has tons of books in it and maps and all sorts of stuff. You can, uh, if you want to do research here, you can. Um, There is, uh, every room somehow is, full's the wrong word, every room has ambient chamber music, and yet you cannot find the quartet anywhere. Wow. But, like, every room you're in has, you know, like, when you're at a restaurant and you can almost hear the music that's playing? Yes. Like, that's kind of what happens in every room. Oh, wow. Man, if, if everyone else could figure out a way to do this, we wouldn't need orchestras anymore. That would be, <laughs> no, that, that would be a shame. That would be unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Donald will go to the bar. All right. <laughs> there are several bars. Nearest bar. Yeah. The nearest bar. Um, so it turns out that the various bars are serving different things, oh. and the one closest to the entrance is absinthe. Yeah. Next, next bar. <laughs> absinthe is dangerous. Uh, yes. Next bar. Uh, the next, the next bar is serving weird cocktails with uh, a bottle with an elephant on it. I'll keep looking for another bar that suits right. Donald. So there's no, there's nowhere to there's get like, like beer. Yeah, yeah. no Guinness. Let's give some, some simple hard liquor, whiskey. We've so everything here is weird mixed drinks. Oh, mm. this is gonna be an interesting evening. I like this that. character. It's all like li- liqueurs you've never heard of, or like ones you've heard of that you only know that you should avoid. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to find somewhere that's that. Uh, I, I'm actually gonna go to the one with the elephant. Okay. Cocktail and get get one of those and wander with it in my hand. Sure. You find uh, the one that you're the most comfortable with is weirdly one they set on fire. That I could try. Yeah. Uh, Bloody pyro. So there's like a. <laughs> <laughs> there's like so yeah the drink it shows up in front of you flaming and just you ah. Uh, all right, so yeah, you're 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 getting lubricated. I'm 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 hanging close to Dono. Okay. Because this is way out of my element. <laughs> I'm gonna look for any sort of Egyptian type style room. I'm sure there's got to be Egyptian oh, yes. everywhere. Yes. Just um, so something that reminds me of endless night. Mm. You know what I mean? Infinite night in the sky with a pyramid. And daggers in the uh, sky. All right. Um, so <laughs> yeah, uh, so there's a room that has the wallpaper mm-hmm. is like a scene. It's like a a nightscape of Egypt, okay. of looking towards the Valley of the Kings. Mm-hmm. So, like, the wallpaper all the way around the room is as if you were standing at a point and looking over at the pyramids, and they're okay. sort of in front of you. So you're in the desert somewhere? Yeah. Okay. What else is the room about? Like, is that... Uh, 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 is there anything in the room? There are, yeah, there are some, there are some like, Egyptian mm-hmm. things that seem to you like bric-a-brac, but okay. somebody who... You know, like if the if you were there, you mm-hmm. could maybe like, make. That's what I was thinking. Can I make an uh, yeah. either appraisal or archaeology appraisal? I'd accept either of those. Appraisal. Let's sure. We'll try it. Um, while while I'm wandering around, I want to see if I can find any of Miles Shipley's paintings. Ooh, yes. Hmm. I got a hard hard success. Yeah, All right. Nice. So um, remember at the uh, at the Penhue Foundation, the the stuff that was there was purposefully dull. Yes. So this is purposely audacious. This is like, it's still meaningless? just as, yeah, it's still just as meaningless, but this is like purposely uh, purposely audacious. It's okay. like, you know, the more, it's like um, a lot of like. Um, it's like disco, but European, mm-hmm. but Egyptian. Yeah, there you yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Um, 
Any chance would Yosef be at this party? <laughs> oh, no, there's no chance. Oh, it's too bad. Come on. He would love this stuff. Um, no, he would have a thing I was going to look for some more of yeah. the uh, occult stuff because I know he's he's going to go deep diving, mm -hmm. but. Um, Sounds into something. Some of the, some of the you know, I, this guy does seem to know about the occult, so I was thinking, you know, if, <coughs> a study or someplace else where. It's so I can you find some... make an occult roll. Yeah. No. Well, all right. So even without a roll, mm. there's just stuff everywhere. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, that's a, you know, that is the, that is, you know, a visage of the head of, you know, a something from a Mesopotamian myth, you know, and it's yeah. just, this house is just like everywhere you turn, there's some thing. So yeah. it's, I guess, but as we're walking around, we don't see the upside down onk or we don't see, you don't see the, the upside down onk. Stuff. No, okay. you don't see any of these, okay. of these symbols. No, okay. No, there's All none right. of that. And I, I, I do want so to see deep dive if, I, if I can spot any of like Miles Shipley's paintings, maybe tucked off in a dark corner somewhere. You don't see any of those. Okay. Uh, I make that a uh, there would not be any sort of, okay. uh, that would not be something you'd want to find. Come on, Winter Nightingale. No, but I'd be interested. <laughs> Come on, Winter Nightingale. 11, do I see oh. Edward Shipley? Or not Shipley, I'm sorry, Edward Gavigan. Gavigan. Edward That's Gavigan? It. Those times. Oh. I will. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going God anywhere. Dang. Uh, no, this is not, you do not see Gavigan. Okay. Uh, what were you, what was that a role for? It's a spot hidden a human being. Was it a spot, was it a hard success? Um, probably, yes, yes, it was definitely. Hard in fact, success, it was yes. extreme because yeah, that's an 15. 11. That was yeah. an extreme success? Yeah, yeah. He got um, she got 11. I mean, it's fine if he's not there. I just want to know with certainty that he's not. That he's not there. All right, yeah, you are sure that he is not okay. there. Um, I mean, unless he's there. <laughs> then things are gonna happen. No, no, he. But you, is, you were definitely debating something else there. This is yeah. not Gavigan's scene. Okay. Uh, Get some of that oh, blood. True. I was I trying to decide. I mean, yeah. so I'll, uh, you know, I'll just let you know that I was trying to decide if Zara would be there, but Ooh, she's had enough kind of, yeah, you know, goodness. she's had enough uh, 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 oh, camera true. time. Uh, uh, okay, so, um, so you. Uh, you at, at some point you are uh, traipsing about the party and you are separated from everyone, and um, and a uh, a gentleman in a black mask, uh, like super like like the, the, super dark the black black yeah. uh, uh, will come up behind you and will uh, and will say. Oh, are you, uh, are you friends with Crowley? I'm a friend of a friend. And do you think that Crowley will help you? Help me to be here? W what are you talking about? The uh, the gentleman will sit down. Mm -hmm. Oh no! <laughs> He's one of mine, you know. Oh, and who are you? Let me show you. And he reaches to take off the mask, and when he takes off the mask, the void of space is where the mask was. Make me a pow roll. Just run. Just run away. <laughs> Just run away. Let's see what he does. No. All right. Uh, you are transfixed, drawn to that. into yes. the void that is, that was his face. Uh, and, and he says, let me show you. And you are, uh, you recognize like in your head, your your head is going like a million miles. Just you're you're, and you are instantly transported to what you are sure is ancient Egypt. You're like looking around, going like that, you know, that symbol was only used at this time and that sort of thing. Um, and this is, oh gosh, when was it? Um. The third dynasty. I appreciate his ability to find anything in that book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you, uh, so yeah, you're like pegging it, and 
Yeah. Um, you see a massive black pyramid. And standing before it is a pharaoh whose skin is black as night and just like looks like stone. And he looks right at you. You're miles away, but he looks right at you. And he says, um, he, and he says, this was only the beginning. And he snaps his fingers. And as he snaps his fingers, you somehow see at the very top of the pyramid, there are, there's a platform. And on this platform are four people. Okay. And uh, I mean this to in no way uh, 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 diminish their sacrifice, but who they are is not important. You don't recognize them. Okay. Uh, and these four people, as he snaps his fingers, their throats are slit. And the blood pours down out of them onto this pyramid. And somehow, this pyramid that is stories and stories tall is covered in the blood of these four people. And meanwhile, their bodies are in front of you shriveling and just like disappearing in a utterly unscientific way. Uh, and the pyramid remains that red color. Mm. The red pyramid. Mm -hmm. And uh, and just like that, you're back at the party, and there and you're sitting at a table with an elderly gentleman wearing a black mask. Make me a sand roll. <laughs> <laughs> Never talk to people with voids for and faces. I have <laughs> underneath the sanity. Oh no! All right. I do not. You lose four sanity. We oh, can yeah. inspire that, you know. It you can inspire yeah. that. You've got plenty of... We have we have the inspiration. Do you really want to keep your sanity? Uh, yes. <laughs> You're going to stand well, out of the group yeah, like a sore thumb. I was going to say, say, you know, I probably have more like than, like than the rest of you. One of us. Yeah. One, one of us. <laughs> do you want to inspire it? Yeah, let's do it. it. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. That's okay. This will be even better if I don't make it. worse. Ha ha! Yeah, I did not make it. It wasn't an Amy. She actually it wasn't an Amy. Oh she but, rolled yeah. better. Uh, all right, so yeah, you lose four sanity. Good yep. Lord. And um, this poor old guy, like, uh, is very, very surprised when you suddenly like lurch to your feet and like stumble away. Yeah. And and he's like, I, I gotta find the rest of them. So that was a no then. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Uh, and you're just like, yeah. yeah, you now start stumbling through and like every, the, like the masks at this party now terrify you. You're just like, everywhere you go, you're like somebody in a mask, somebody, you know. They're afraid they're gonna take it off. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um, I, I, I start yelling for you guys. Can All right. Uh, everybody make a listen roll. It's a, it's a party, I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Finally. Just, just missed it. 22, I'm sure success. I made it because these dice are awesome. Those <laughs> dice are awesome. You <laughs> might not get those dice. No, you success. Yes, I did successfully. All right, so oh, make success. sure you check it off yeah. if you got it. So you, yeah, you all here. Oh, everyone but... <laughs> I, I, I missed it, but someone grab me by the, by the elbow and point me, please. <laughs> um, you have, so you've been separated, actually. Mm -hmm. That's, so you're, um, and you're separated. I'm separated, too. Mm -hmm. But you still hear this. Mm -hmm. um, so you mm -hmm. hear mm -hmm. her... The professor is just like, anybody? Donald? Oh. Emma? Emma? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. All right. I'll, <laughs> go on, I'll work towards yeah. your voice. Yeah. Some of you. Um, <laughs> guys. Yeah, what's, what's all wrong? All right, so Jump. we're going to end with you mm -hmm. and Alistair Crowley tonight. <sighs> Yay. Still Nothing like, can go wrong. So for Nothing a whole week. at all. <laughs> Nothing can possibly go wrong. Uh, so it's Crowley right. brings you into the library. Okay. And he starts pulling down books. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. It's not right for you to go either. Uh, and um, and he pulls down, and he's like, "It's around here somewhere." Ah, there it is. And he pulls a book, and it clicks, and the wall goes 
Oh dear God. <laughs> He's come. <laughs> Hesitantly, but okay. Um, and you are in a, um, uh, uh, as you go in, the, the, the door, the wall closes behind you. Um, and you're in a room, there's like one red light bulb above it. The room is entirely red. Um, and, uh, and he, uh, 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 and he says, this is where I keep the scrolls. And he takes you to a rack and the rack has a bunch of just rolled up scrolls. Took like that bit in the library of Gondor. And he, he's like, mm, ah, here we are. Yes, this, this is the ritual to create an elder sign. The Elder Sign is the most powerful, protective symbol you can have. Do you want it? Yes. How badly? <laughs> what, what would you want in exchange for it? I am an honest man, and I am a, I'm a man of extreme appetites, I admit. But I accept if someone does not share my appetites. And so I ask my friend, would you share a night with me? <laughs> no is a perfectly acceptable answer. Not, not if you're asking what I think you're asking. Oh, I am. Oh. I assure you I am. Well, my friend, I understand. I offer this to you as a gift. Thank you. My only request is that it not leave this room. This room is protected. Uh, you may study it here. I will see that you are not disturbed. Thank you. I'm in your debt in a sense. <laughs> I try to navigate. In a strictly platonic sense? In, yes. <laughs> in what sense? <laughs> yeah, in, in, in a platonic sense. Mm -hmm. uh, all, and, and so as you say, in a platonic sense, Crowley, like, his head jerks and his eyes turn black. <laughs> I freeze so nothing happens to me. Because that's what happens if you don't move. Fairly. <laughs> and uh, and Crowley, the thing that is sort of Crowley, <coughs> says, it won't help. You should leave here. You should leave England. You should go home. This is no place for you. All that follows is death. Death to you, yes, but death to those you care about. Does it go away? <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> waiting it out. I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm frozen. I'm just kind of like. All right, all right. Um, uh, yeah, you kind of so you you somewhat shatter the 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 unperturbed facade, and the, the, he's like, <laughs> just holding still. I'm I'm doing my best not to blink. Right, right. Yeah, no, you you have done a, a very a very good job of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so broken already. Let me help you, and he reaches up and he touches your forehead. Uh, and um, where he touches your forehead, mm -hmm. you feel like a little burning feeling. Just holding still. <laughs> well, then I guess you won't mind if I take this to remember you by. And he will reach into your hair and oh, yank. No, I'll react to that. Okay. Because I know enough about 
all of this. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what are you gonna do? Oh, I'll, I'll, like if he's reaching for my hair, like I'll, I'll swat him away, and I'll. Does do I have the scroll? Does he have the scroll? You have the scroll. Okay. Yeah, I jump back. Okay. There's. It's not a big room, but yeah, you jump back. Make me a uh, dice roll. Make me a dodge roll. Ooh. Well, it's not a fumble. Mm. I would like to use Fire, really? this. <laughs> yes, good job. Mm -hmm. Ha! Yes, oh, that is. Eight. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, so not you, a critical. You but... easily uh, skip away, like as the hand, like in your hair, you're like, whoosh, and you are on the other side of the room. And as you do that. Um, the black disappears and Crowley sort of goes, Whew. I either need more cocaine or less. I'm not sure which. <laughs> oh, I think you need more protective magic for this room. Well, that is not the answer I was expecting. Uh, please, you can stay here and study. I'm going to go and uh, corrupt. Best of luck. <laughs> uh, he shows you how to get out. Okay. There's like a, a lever. Uh, Good. <laughs> and I think that is where we're gonna end it with uh, uh, some. Uh... Nothing. Nothing can go wrong with this nope. party. This is yeah. all just gonna go smoothly. <laughs> it's all gonna go real well. Alistair Crowley parties are, have a reputation. <laughs> mm. uh, so uh, thank you so much for for sticking around and uh, for your your likes, your subscribes, your comments, all that stuff. We really enjoy it. Thanks you guys. This was fun. Yeah. We had a, we had a really good time. Uh, let's see quotes for this time. Uh, I liked Agro Mr. Burns. That was good. Um, I hid in the closet with my breakfast. As you do. Wigs yep. are the priority. Mm. Uh, I think the episode title. Let's not do anything crazy. That's yeah. good. Um, I'm still trying to piece together. If you see us again, it won't be us. That was, <laughs> that, was that was a good one too. Uh, and so we will uh, we'll pick up next Saturday with the uh, with the surely not uh, not sad dregs of the party of uh, the the late night. And uh, some morning. people have Long learned shame. some awful things, and some people are going to learn some <gasps> even more awful yep. things. Oh boy. Oh. oh. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm in the clear now. Yeah. That was the worst of it. Can't get, can't get any worse from here. Yeah. Uh, yes, it can. <laughs> I mean, you know, the good news is you're you're you know where you're going to be in six days. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, probably. Right. In a yep. shootout with a dark wizard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, there. That seems fine. Then <coughs> that seems fine. It seems like a team. We need to get a good high-powered rifle. So, I, got one. Uh, I say it every time, but I'm going to say it again. Check out all of our shows Monday. It's natural one. Start your week off with a critical fail. Mm. Tuesday, it's the chaos agents who, I mean, they're just not going to do what they should be doing. That's we're, we're that's chaotic. Isn't the name. Uh, <laughs> Wednesdays, we've been streaming board games. I think it's going to be uh, Arkham Horror, the LCG, uh, this Wednesday. Uh, stay tuned for more information on that. And then we're back here Saturday yep. for uh, more with the Great Dane Society. That's a that's a rich full week. Why go outside <laughs> when you can just do this? I Come mean, on. I mean, that's my, that's my, yeah, that's, my yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's basically the way I live my life. <laughs> so, uh, thanks so much again, and we will see you next week. Is the Baroness going to...